It's don't even start. It's already down. What is? The camera. Oh, thank God. I'm wiped. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Not really. Okay. Mm -mm. It's been a busy day, few days. Cool. It dropped about 15 degrees from when I left the house to now. It did. Isn't worried it worried about tornado weather. Uh oh. Are we in a tornado watch? Not that I know of. Hi, everyone. Tell okay. us that you're here. Hi, everybody. Ooh, mama. I got yeah. some kind of eclectic mm. things tonight. And you know why? Tell me why. Do you want to know why? Um, Tell me why. Because I'm just so, I mean, I have it, but some. I'm just so sick of selling cutesy kitsch yeah yeah oh i've got some kitsch i mean you've still got kitsch i got a lot of kitsch i got like different actual kitsch. kitsch it's different kitsch today yeah. alan Lori wortley katie sunshine alan. barbara alan not my alan oh. castion oh uh barbara donna joanne judy miss damn jewelry dolores i think you miss cam Is no that cam it says miss damn jewelry oh um, Cam's down there. Oh, Amanda, there's Amanda. Sinclair, oh, there's a lot of Cam. Ams. There's a, damn, Tam, Amanda, me. Cam. Teresa. Tammy. Doug, Linda. Oh, God. We got Nettie. a lot of Ams all in a row. Jewelry by Denise. I got a wild card tonight, you guys. Al Langenecker. Jan It. <laughs> CJ. Not an Am, no. But it's still an Am. Not part of the Am class. It's an Am. Right? Cam, Amanda, Tammy. Who did I miss? CJ on. Bailey, Mary, uh, Sharon C, Melinda, Roylene, Rosie, Judy, Christine, Norma, Rhonda, Barb, Purple. Hey, if you get removed as a moderator, it's not because I'm mad at you. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, it is. I'm removing pretty much just everybody except for like the people we've talked to about <sighs> moderating. Yeah. We're not mad at you. No. it. You know what? Shit happens. How the hell are you, Dolores Cowie says. How the hell are How you, How the Dolores? hell are you? God dang it, I just boxed up your little thing today. Sam Vasquez, reseller. How the hell are you? <laughs> that Dolores Cowie, she's a good girl, you know? Yeah, true, true, true. She is. She's good egg. <clears throat> you want Dolores Cowie on your side. Totally. I'm just totally. telling you. She's good egg. It's good people. Yes, yes. Uh, cricket. I'm Sue. Right. Cricket. Maria. If you don't goddamn buy something, I, I I am so sick of looking at those birds. <laughs> I'm about ready to kill you. <laughs> it's time. It's time for it's them to leave the nest. I don't care if you buy. I don't. I don't even know what. Hi, Joanne. Fr oh, F R E S E. Freeze. 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 Freeze, I bet. Cool. F R E S E. Freeze. Freeze. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, D Doug's Corner, which is also Cricket Corner, sure. which is also Roy Corner, mm -hmm. um, Roy and Doug's contributions to the corner have gotten so large that I've had to actually box them. And. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Dana Grace. Hi, Jamie. Well, you know what? I'm afraid I'm going to, like, inadvertently put their stuff in with somebody else's stuff. Right. Because, you know, oftentimes I'm shipping 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So. Oh, Doug's here, Lori. Oh, thank God. Doug's here to buy your stuff for you, Lori. Well, she said she wants to buy something before he gets here. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Jim from North Carolina. Hey, Jim from North Carolina. Amanda, we need to invoice you. Is oh. it something you bought from me because everything's sitting on my couch wrapped because... For what, sugar? I'm out of shipping tape. Amanda, who, who Sinclair. I think it's from me. It Actually, I'm almost positive. Just a minute. Let me take uh, a no, look. I know. My invoicing is done. Yeah, it's from me. It's wrapped up. It's just not uh, boxed. Is it to go with mine? No. Oh, I know. I think... Wait. But... I got you, Amanda. It's... I'm just out of shipping tape and haven't had a chance to get to the shipping tape. So. 
didn't um didn't Am did Amanda only buy something from you? I thought she I thought I invoiced her. Maybe not. She's um Canada, right? Yeah. Can aren't you Canada, Amanda? Yeah. I was thinking I, well, Marianne did and Susan. Those was no, oh, Susan like was somebody else. Mm -mm. I don't know. Oh, hell, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even freaking know. I don't know. My hands are just the freaking stupidest in the world. <sighs> Poor Oliver. Oliver, as you guys know, has ADHD. And some days are totally normal and fine. And some days are just a meltdown day. They're just a shit show, really. My man had a meltdown day today. And it's just one after the other. And um, there was one instance where... He was, he, he had such a big meltdown. He had to go upstairs and chill for a minute and then come back downstairs. This is during and, school, by the way. Yeah. Well, which is the helpful part of being home because, you know, we just go upstairs and chill for a minute. But, um, <laughs> I, was out, I used to go to the art room. I, <laughs> I didn't even know that's what it was for. I, uh, oh, I got to take my medicine. Invited him to come back downstairs and, um, I said, what happened? What's going on with you? He goes, well, my hands are just the stupidest in the world, and they can't fold the paper airplane. <laughs> so, well, yes. I mean, sometimes our hands are just the stupidest hands in the world. The most stupidest, he said. Well, you know, he's got a lot of talent, though. He sure does. It's always nice to remind him. Because, you know, oh, yeah. it sucks when you can't do something. I also would like to point out that, uh, and I told Samantha, that there is no origami in the Olympics or professionally no um not that, hard, I mean, not that i'm aware of very hard to make a living as a paper airplane folder mm -hmm. in this world however professional soccer is a lucrative living um it's also a an olympic sport the last time i checked sure is um he's got some talented feet and legs he sure does and i'm not joking yeah oh he really does that's super funny that you say that because he just told me that he can use both his right and left hand but he can't use his stupid left foot I said, okay. He's having a day. Yeah, he was having it. He yeah. was having a struggle day. Yesterday was kind of rough, too, because Fernando, like, he kept giving him instructions, and, like, he just wasn't processing them. Mm, he just wasn't very focused. And, I mean, he was... too early? No, he was trying it. Um, but, you know, he just... Well, something else must have been distracting It was him. just, I think it, we're at the end of school. It's a hard time. <sighs> it is. It's... We're almost there. So, you know. Yeah. Let's get started. Okay. Let's do it. We're late, thanks to me. Sure, been a busy sure. busy few days. Hi, everyone. Had my girl here. I'm in a marriage timeout. Is there medication for that? <laughs> uh, alcohol. <laughs> try alcohol. Um, try drinking about yeah. it. Alcohol, alcohol is oftentimes very medicinal. I have found. It's got medicinal purposes. I believe so. Yeah. Properties. <laughs> I don't drink as a rule. I can't even tell you the last time I had a drink. But uh, in the past, uh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the problem is, all of our so people are saying, I get that. I get that. The problem for my man, is this is where the ADHD comes in, is because um, he does have that lovely touch of the ADHD. Yeah. Uh, it it helps him focus really hard in on that. Janet, what's wrong? Janet can't see your feed. Our feed. Oh. What? Janet. Did you hit live? Did you hit the chat, Janet? Janet, are you sure? Janet Green. Yeah, she messaged us. Well, Janet, um, we love you. And the, I thought I saw you. Honey, hit the the feed button. The Try going one. out and like cl completely closing YouTube and then coming back. Did you? Do not disturb my phone. No. Hold on, everybody. Because it'd be just like your brother to call. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, sorry. What were you saying? Oh, you? but yeah. Or, uh, Oliver. It just helps him focus on that, that emotion, whatever he's feeling. So, you know. Is it working now, Janet? Can you see Janet? She's in it. Oh, good. Okay. I saw her in the beginning, so something must have happened weird. Well... Yeah. You are not doing your auctions right now, Mom. I know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just checking. Mom? I'm just checking. While everybody gets here, I'm just checking. Mom? I'm checking. Just checking. Let me check yours. We have seen videos like this. Videos? 
where people are on their phones and iPads. <laughs> yeah, I know. But this one's On a live. This one's important. Are you sure? Yes. Based on... Oh, God. I... You guys, I am telling you... Oh, wait. Wait, what is this? Oh, my God. Um... Are you serious? I have spent some jack. Uh, you know, I don't know. If you guys buy on uh, live auctions... Um, it, it's a risk. It really is. Doug, me too. You don't know. Are you big in, bidding on that tangerine zebra bit uh, auction right now? Is that what you're bidding on, Doug? Because me too. She's probably bidding on the same crap as me. Yeah, I just got outbid for something, so. I didn't bid on anything right now. Doug? Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Lucid. Anyway, hey, Elizabeth. You have got to turn that off. I am not kidding you. <laughs> you are being ridiculous. Well, now that I know Doug is bidding. <sighs> you bastard. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, outbid everything, Doug. <laughs> Does it to me literally every single time. <laughs> okay. In fairness, this last auction. Oh, dear God. Anyway, you take your chances. Sometimes you go to pick stuff up and you are delightfully surprised. Sometimes you go to pick stuff up and you're like, oh boy. yeah, boy, that was a waste of 150 Shoot. bucks right there. Yeah. Mm. Yowza. Let me clean off my legs. Hi, Josie's butterfly bit. kisses. Sorry. There she is. Now she's gone. There she is. Oh. Oh. One more. <laughs> Ooh. No. Okay. All right. I'm just going to glance. Mm. All I'm doing is glance. I'm just glancing. Doug, I mean it. You've got two storage units. Don't you dare. Oh, damn it, I can't see anything. Happy hey, Thursday, cheesecake. Sarah and Sam. Happy bidding. Thanks. Happy bidding, error body. Okay. All right. Let's, let's do just it. Do what it. do you want to start with? Sam's not selling anything tonight. Not selling anything tonight. I'm here for the entertainment only. G dang Sarah show tonight. He's got three storage units. She come. As if you don't have enough with all the blow modes, Doug. I mean it. I mean it. If I see you at this auction picking shit up, it's I'm, it's over. Our love affair is over. It's over. Okay. I hope this hurts you. I think he's okay. It's going to hurt me more than it hurts you. And I mean it. Okay. Don't. I'm not kidding you. The tank top was a bad choice. <laughs> we'll go put a sweater on. Because I have many. Well, I'm sure there's something upstairs you can put on. We need to get you started. Let's get you started first. I don't know if the that Steeler sweatshirt. Go put on a sweatshirt of Bruce's. I'll be all right. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, all right. Let it go. Uh, what? Turn it off. Uh-uh. I'm just going to leave it right like that. How about a dog? Oh, my God. How about a dog? Thank you, Lori. What? Did Lori say something? She said I look adorable. You do look adorable. Thank you. It's gross when you say it. That's weird for, for you to say. Why? I've said you look cute many times. Cute is fine. Adorable's weird. All right, adorable's wrong. Adorable's fine from you guys. It's weird. We don't talk like that to each other. I feel like we should start hugging. Okay. Well, we'll put that on the calendar. You first. No. What? No, just I don't want to. <laughs> a dog it's a terrier it's metal it is i have had this dog he's how aged. long have we been married 11 years no it's 2021 we were married in 2010 11 years i've had this dog probably 30 years wow he's from the prior administration hey chicago lady it is from japan mm. It's metal. Like pot metal. He's old, old, old. He's made in Japan. Can you see? He is. He's stamped. Anyway, he's cute. He's a cute little terrier. He's a little metal dog. Um, <laughs> he's going to be... He's pretty neat. You don't see metal ones very often. Mm -mm. He's cast. No, he's not cast iron. He's just pot metal, but he was in a mold. Okay. He's aged. And he is? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. 
He's fifteen dollars. He's fifteen dollars and he's number thirty-two. He's about this big. I haven't gotten out a tape measure yet. I will eventually because I've got a ton of linens. I hope you guys are linen ready, and I mean it because I got a ton of linens. Fifteen dollars, number thirty-two. Yeah. Metal pup. Can Metal pup from Japan. Yeah, he's a Japan dog. He's made in the islands of Japan. You in, know the ones. In the earlier part of the, cent the last century. Okay. The early part of the... See, now I am always confused. This is the... We're in the 21st 20 century. 21st century. Last was the 20th century. Thank you, Lorianne Sugar Bee. Thank you, sweetie. That was the 20th century? Yeah. See, that doesn't seem right, though, does it? Because it was like 19 something. Right, but it, it's always the one after, because the first without the thousand was the first century. Oh, right. So, so like, like one to a thousand was the first century. Yeah. Or one to a hundred. Yeah. Was the first century. One to 999. Well, century's only a hundred. Wait. Oh my God, we sound like a bunch of geniuses, don't we? No, you're right, one to a hundred. Look at this think tank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. He's a cute doggy. I've had him forever. Metal pup. I used to collect Scotties years ago. Um, these are fun. Do I have any mid-century people here? These are Jamie's here. Jamie's here? Oh, good. Jamie, I've got some kind of cool stuff. Oh, where do you guys see this lamp? <laughs> He's made in Japan. Oh, He's... Gary, are you 30 today? Or Gary. 40 today? You can be 30 if you want. He said, guess who turned 40 today? And I think it's Gary. Gary, Gary? Yeah, Gary, Gary. Florida, Gary? Gary, Gary, Gary. Gary? Gary? Gary. 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 It's Gary's Gary. birthday. Today? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. He's 40? Happy 40th birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gary. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Gary. Happy birthday, dude. I hope you've been having fun. Um, I need to get the tape measure. Okay. I should have. I always forget, Don. Hey, everyone, wish Gary the happiest birthday. Yeah. Which Today one? is your 75th birthday, James. James? Is that real? James Hooker. 75th birthday. I'm going to guess he's not lying. I'm going to guess that's real. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I'm oh, God. Up. Happy birthday, James and Tammy. Happy birthday to you both. Happy oh, birthday, guys. Two, All right. Three. These salt and peppers are cute. They're very Brady Bunch. I thought she was attacking me, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of tall. They're four and a half inches tall. They're super fun. Cute. Look at them. Cute. They're very groovy. They're very... Uh, um, Mr. Brady. What the yeah. hell is his name? Mike. They're very Mike Brady. They're very architect Mike Brady. Sure. Aren't those neat? Yes. Um, they're made in Japan. Mm. They're fourteen dollars. They're fourteen dollars. Hi, Jody, Texas home, and their number Jody. fourteen dollars, and their number forty-eight. Okay. They're like teal and green, green teal and you know grass green. Kelly Green. Aren't they cute? Yes. They're super groovy. I have a couple of groovy things to Feeling make. groovy. <laughs> Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the morning last. Just kicking down the cobblestones. Looking for fun and feeling groovy. Nice. $14. I got number no 48. So I can't remember how it goes. Me either. Hi, Joanne Baber. Some something and something something something. I can't believe nobody did that. Uh, well, maybe you don't. All right. How Nobody's feeling groovy. It's all right. 
Nobody's feeling groovy about it. How about? Oh, that's a line Jamie Mid-Century Wasted was. Jamie, I got something super cool for you. Although, I think at some point there was another seller who sold something similar to this, and you may have gotten it already. Right. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Um, oh, you know what? How about an owl? And, you know, here's the thing. I think this is uh, like a creamer. But I think it looks cute as a planter. He's greeting. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm welcome. I'm Steve. Hey. My name is Steve. And I'm an owl. I'm the crossing guard. And it's I'm not safe. The 70s. <laughs> and I'm made in Japan. How do you say that? See, now people want to say Lego. I think it's Lego. I don't, I'm not sure. It's made in Japan. He's cute. But you know what? I think he's... Look. Don't you suppose he's a creamer? I'm a little creamer, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Oh, I missed some spots up here cleaning him. Oopsie. Yeah, you did. Yikes. Oh, happy late birthday, Jody. He's in good, He's in pretty good condition. Um, That looks like a little itty bitty chip right about there. And I think that's it. He hasn't been repaired anywhere. I think he looks cute as a planter, though. <clears throat> Isn't Me too. he cute? He's not very, I mean, he's, you know, he's not tiny, <clears throat> but... Uh, he's about four and three quarters inches tall. He's nifty. And he's, I don't know, $13. He's $13 and he's number 55. Yes, he is, folks. 55. I'm going to be 55 this year. What a tragedy yeah, that is. Yeah, you are. Good Lord. Let's see how much Doug is outbid me, bastard. Stop it. All right. Uh, next. How about, you know what? This is fun. This is neat. I don't know who made it. It's old. Hmm. 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 I would assume that it was made here in the great United States of America. Sure. God bless America. What's today? Thursday? The what? The 27th. Land that I love. Thursday, the 27th of May. De Mayo. Mm-hmm. Is that fun? It's an old, uh, it's like a desk thing, you know. Like, a, what's this called? Like a calendar. Yeah. Isn't it neat? Yes. I think it's cool. I don't know that it's marked anywhere. I would imagine it's made here in the States somewhere. It's old. It's but a goldie I, oldie. Yeah. I don't see a mark on it. I don't know. It's just cute. It's cute for your, uh, well, for anything, really. You stick it in the kitchen. You stick it on your desk. You know who would like this? Katie. She collects, like, old office stuff. True. Because she's cool. True. Hi, Jan. How about that? Uh, it's pretty neat. Sure is. It's in good shape. And it works well. Everything works just fine. See? Everything is in working order Excellent. on this old vintage calendar. This bad boy is going to be, I don't know, it's kind of neat. I'm going to put it at 20 It's pretty cool. $20. Hi, Tiger. Number 64. I believe it's brass, you fine feathered friends of mine. I think it's brass. It's just, um, uh, you know, tarnish. Aged. I think mom has billed everything, Josie. I don't think you bought anything from me, did you? I don't think you did. I did. Honey, I think you just paid. Oh, she said if it's not gone yet. Did you already take it? M Michelle Emancipation got it. Michelle. Oh, the calendar? Yes. Okay. Uh, thanks, honey. No, Marianne, I haven't. It, um, Bruce went to the post office today after you paid. Do you want me to hold on in case you... She wants you something? to put it together with it. If she gets anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. No problem. Desk calendar. No problem, Bob. Okay, let's, um, well, not really. I just have some kind of odd things today. Sure. Well, not odd, but it, different. Like, different, which I like. I hate You're selling here. the same stuff over and over again. This is um, postcards. But it's one of those postcard booklet thingies, you know? Yes. 
like the little pinup thing that I sold last week. Mm -hmm. But this is the Chicago World's Fair. Chicago. 1933. How neat. Absolutely neat. Um, looking south over the World's Fair grounds, mm -hmm. showing the general exhibits group in the foreground. There's the back. Isn't this cool? Very. Oh, don't leave that window open. That'll drive me crazy. I'll have to stand up and close it. Two hands. Carefree. Oh, Gotta hurt yourself there, honey. And here. I feel like this is something I need to stand up for. Here are the postcards. Mm -hmm. 1933 Chicago World's Fair. Very Pretty neat. neat. Here's another one on this side. I can't read any of it, so <laughs> I hope you can ascertain what's happening. Yeah, just take what you need from it. Uh huh. Well, that's look at that. That's neat. Hello, Grandma. And then, is that Dawn? Yep. Then, here's this side of them. Look at that. My grandparents had World's Fair stuff. I have no idea what ever happened to anything cool that my grandparents had. Here's the inside. Century of Progress, Chicago World's Fair. So this must have been 100 years. Obviously, 1833 to 1933. That yes. would make sense, wouldn't it? Yes. They wouldn't say just century for nothing, would they? No. Um, no, they wouldn't. Enjoy the Century of Progress exposition. A warm welcome awaits you. Chicago, great central market, city of industries and financial metropolis of the Middle West. Of the Middle West. The Middle West. Now we've cheapened it to the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to put these pretty neat. <clears throat> World's Fair stuff's pretty collectible, especially in this condition. I'm going to say there's a little rip right there, but nothing major. Um, I really don't know what the price is at. I'm going to say 15 $15. 15 Number 41. I think that's a pretty fair price for World's Fair. Hello, everyone entering. Hello, family. $15 for this World's Fair guy. Well, Number 41. Uh, I believe those are postcards. That is Tiger. Do you collect World's Fair stuff, honey? Or do you collect um, postcards or Chicago? Or I always like to know why people are buying this. I like this. I like the front of it. I think it's cool. Cool, cool. Okay. 167. Um, this is kind of fun. Um, I was over in storage grabbing some stuff. Tiger collects ephemera. Oh, girl, I hear that. Oh, Jesus. I mean, to say I collect ephemera would be a joke. It also lived in Chicago. Oh, hooray. Yeah, um, World's Fair stuff can be very collectible. We Hold on, one more question. We do have... Um, vintage costume jewelry from time to time. I don't think we have any on the table today. Yeah. I. You know why? But we do sometimes. Oh, I've got a ton of vintage costume jewelry. I just don't, A, don't know what to sell it for. Right. Um, I have learned before I take mm -hmm. it apart and do something else with it to Maybe look check. to see if it's, you know, signed. Yeah. I mean, I did learn my lesson with like an $80 pair of earrings that I dismantled mm -hmm. and thought, oh, Shoot. That was a bad decision. Darn it. Boy, some mistakes were made just then. Um, okay. So anyway, I was over in storage. I've got a ton of old games. I love old games, old kids, anything. I love it. Hence the old kids books. Do you need something, babe? Oh, you're just watching. Admiring my stunning good looks. We're going to say something and be a dick. He's going to be a dick. I can feel it. Oh, boy. Anyway, I brought this over because it is, we are nearing the 4th of July season. We're where there. things become red and blue and white in, in the decorating arena. In rapid order. Mm -hmm. So, I have this super cute uh, Tinker Toys, like, 
tin container thingy. I love stuff like this. It's got stuff in it too. And you know what is funny about this? Look, you could mail it. Yes, you could. Look, at, it's like a giant cylinder postcard. Totally. Cylindrical postcard. How clever. I mean, you can mail almost anything. You can mail a potato. You sure can. I've mailed potatoes before to friends. Mm -hmm. Isn't that neat? This is from, I don't know when. Uh, Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Great Finds. Maybe I will know. Mail with or without wrapper to... Pound parcel post rates. Oh, neat. What does this say down here? Merry-go-round, giant tops, mammoth swings, Ferris wheels, windmills. What the hell is all this? I think it's the Toy Tinkers, Inc. Oh, Evanston, Illinois. I didn't know that's where these were made. Sure. <clears throat> Do you see a year anywhere? I mean, I can give it a look. 1915. Pat, Pat, 1915. 1915. 1915. 1915. That's an oldie. This is kind of an old cylindrical thing that you can mail. Yep. You know what? If you buy this, maybe I'll try mailing it to you. Mm. Or not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it does have stuff in it. I don't know what. I've never opened it. I hope there's not like a finger or something in here. Dead mouse. Old Tinker Toys. Um, if you do not want those, I would certainly understand that, and I will take them out to drop down the weight of this. It's not heavy by any means, but, you know. I mean, the top is, um, you know, worn. A kid played with this. Yep. You know? So, let's put this at, mm, I don't know, let's say $15. Okay. Fif for your 4th of July decor. $15, number 23. I love stuff like this. I have got so much stuff like this. Love it. Love it. It'll be cute for 4th of July. Don't you suppose? Yes. You know what? My hair is sticking to my eyelashes. Norma Jacob. Norma Jacob. This is neat. Did you say four or 15? I did. Okay. Norma, do you want me to take the... Um, I don't think the Tinker Toys are old, old, as old as this is. I think some kid, you know, some parent probably just... Let me know if you want me to take them out. Either in the chat or email me. Um, what next? These are fun. Keep in. Keep in. I will do it, Norma. It really doesn't add. It's not that it doesn't make it terrible weight wise. Um, these are. I don't know. Made in the USA. Patent pending. I know. I told you guys. These plastic salt and peppers are all the rage currently. This one says P and this one says S. Look at that. There's a P. There's the S. They're plastic. And there's a P. And there's boots and shoes at the bottom. Look at that umbrella, mm. little umbrella stand with, with rain boots and shoes. How we'll keep our eyes out for you, Grandma. is this? Isn't that precious? Yes. I would say so. You know what? I think this came from the national president of the Salt and Pepper League mm. uh, when I, whenever I got those yes. months ago. This might have been, um, can you see that? It says, made in the U.S. of A. Yeah, super cute. Really, really cute. Red and black, that makes it even better. Um, anything red, in my opinion, is top notch totally. as far as decor goes. Um, these are cute. These are really cute. Really, really good condition. It has all three little feeties on it. No damage. How do you take it? Oh, these must come off. Yeah. Oh, hell. Oh, okay. please, like you knew. Mom. Come on. What did you think was going like to happen? Like you knew. You know what this reminds you me of? You just literally took them off the thing. No, I know, but how do you put the salt and pepper in, genius, is Where what Where else asking. would you put it? Oh, you put it right here. <laughs> She didn't know. Okay. I didn't have to puzzle it too hard. Riddle me this. Where do you put the salt and pepper? <laughs> Here's a kill. 15. Oh my. We all knew Sarah. No, 
you didn't. Fifteen dollars. You guys didn't know. Fifteen dollars, number ninety-two. Any more than she did. I figured it out in my head. Yes, you did. For all of you. <laughs> Fifteen. Hi, Skeeter Lee. <coughs> it's number ninety-two. Thomas Lynch gets it. Excellent. Is that? Oh no, that's James. James is our birthday boy. Right. Thomas, Thomas Lynch, Lynch is, is Sue. Sue Spezio. Jesus, that had me going the other day. I'm like, who in the living hell is Thomas Lynch? I've only known this for about, oh, I don't know, at least six months. Yeah. God. I also lost Susan's celluloid doll. You know what I did with it? I put it back. I was telling Sam. I almost called her. I'm like, did you by any chance <laughs> stick that with your stuff? You know, that carnival celluloid doll? I put it back downstairs and staged it in the basement. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, hell, that's old. Oh, Jesus. That's silly. Okay, this is fun. And I have also had this for a very long time in the previous administration. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm not sure of it. I know. Um, it is restaurant wear. Shenango. Um, but it's children's dishes. Yes. I'm, I bet I know I've had this at least 30 years. These are darling. Here. They're like, that's like maroon. Yeah. There's the plates. I have two plates and two cups. Can you see that image on there? I think It's I like a, is it, it's like a baker giving the little boy a cake, I think. Little boy and dog. Aren't those neat? Hold on, I'll show you the cup here in a minute. Let me show you the mark. Any more? Hey, Angela. Any more of these um, plates, Michelle, or two plates, something else? Two plates, two cups. That's all I have. Two plates, two cups. I used to have a little... Um, it's from Howard Johnson's, she says. Oh, says. these are from Howard Johnson's. Neat. Um, and here's the cups. Oh, the salt and peppers. Precious. Oh, really? I didn't know. Hey, Maybe Amanda. To me not to look anything up. Isn't that just always the way? Speaking of scotch roos, I might get one soon. Okay. Do you need one? No, but you can't eat them all. Otherwise, you have to make me more. When have you ever known me to eat all the scotch roos? They're my evening treat. As They're you your know. meal. <laughs> Bruce bought me a baked potato today. Oh, congrats on the <laughs> one piece of normal food. <laughs> Just another form of sugar. <laughs> it's a complex carbohydrate, so shut up. <laughs> So there's two of these. I don't know what restaurant used these. Um, I'm sure one of them did. The little plate is, you know what, you guys? The plate is four and a half inches in <laughs> diameter. And the little cup is, there's no damage on them, two and a half inches tall. They are just about, a, I lied. There's a little itty bitty nick right there. Hi, Maria Ramirez. Right there. You can't even see it really. But they are in great shape. And I've, uh, how they're in, well, because they're restaurant wire, that's why they're in such good shape. Yeah. Um, they're hardy. Yeah, they really are. I have no idea what the value is on these, so I'm going to wear them. Okay. Um, Starting out? I will say, let's start the two of them at, I don't, I don't even know, 12. Okay, starting at 12. I really honestly don't know. And you guys remember, we do the timed wars. Get out of there. Shush. We do the timed wars. Do we need a sale pen? Sorry, I'm on my phone. Oh, like for, uh, to like tell people how to bid. Um, thanks, Roberta. 15 for Southern Buckeye. So we'll go for 90 seconds. We do them timed. And I'll try to give you guys like, uh, like time little, heads ups. I mean, even the graphic is really great too on these. They're not worn at all. I had like a, um, in the old house, which actually my oldest daughter bought. We're at 15 for Southern Buckeye. Um, if anybody cares, my ex-husband basically handed it to her. Yeah, that's a big point of contention for um, both mom and I. Mm. But um, anyway, she bought our house that she grew up in. And I had like a, almost like a 40s kitchen and I had a shelf. That had a bunch of like kids' dishes and stuff like this on it. 45 seconds. You didn't miss too much, Val. Mm -mm. Oh, Val, no, you haven't missed much. <laughs> We're doing some kids' restaurant wear right now. 
24 for Annette Mayfield. I've got the grossest taste in my mouth right now. I'm like so that sorry. dog poop taste again. Oh, too bad. Are you feeling um, excited? It's probably because you just took your medicine. Excited. Uh, should I bring an address and... Look, in a bad way? No. Huh. 30 for Southern Buckeye. No. Man, I got chill. What is that, like 50 out? It's the high tomorrow is 55. Oh, my God. For real? That's outstanding. Ten seconds. Hey, 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 Delbert. Skeeter Lee. No, um, when you feel, when you taste that bad taste in your mouth, it's usually because you have some sort of adrenaline happening. Yeah. No, I not like, not, I don't have heartburn. I don't get that. You're a lucky gal. 35 yeah. for Annette Mayfield. Thank oh, you, Annette. Oh, thanks, Annette. Those are super neat. They have lived with me for a long, long time. Now they're going to go live at your house. Have fun. You're going to like them. They're really cool. They're like ivory color. They're really neat. I love them. Well, speaking of cups, um, these are like... Um, now, I will tell you, there are a couple little chippies along the rim, but nothing terrible. They're made in Japan. I don't know who made them. I guess it doesn't matter. They're made in Japan. They're like um, Irish coffee type size. Yeah. I don't know how else to describe them, but there's four of them. So there's this gorgeous girl. They're all made in Japan. There's a set, oh, and it's upside down. I just went. <coughs> now this one, there's a little chippy right there. So just, you know, remember, display it this way. I mean, it's not a terrible chip. It's just a little bite right there. And there's that one. And then there's this one. I don't have cherry. They all say Japan on the bottom. There's this one. That one doesn't have any chippies on the edge. Look how cool the colors. There's four of them. So this base is blue and then there's green. Aren't those fun? Look at these images, these transfer. And the transfers on them are perfect. They're not, um, they're perfect. Thanks, Jana. I got them from Walmart. And there's this one that's yellow. What kind of bird is that? It's not a goldfinch. It's yeah, got too much brown bird. on it to be goldfinch. And then there's this orange one. This one also has a little chippy on the rim, so don't forget. Just turn it this way. Aren't those pretty? So aren't these like for Irish coffee? Like, so I don't know what else you would serve in these. I mean, you can have coffee. Root but beer floats. Root beer float. Yeah. I think root beer is disgusting. Coffee and Bailey's. Bailey's. Oh, floats. my God. All those years we should have been drinking the coffee and Bailey's out of these. I've had these That's for about a year. Girl. Okay, so let me... Stand up so I can hold them because Sam is dining currently. Thanks, guys. So there's orange, yellow. <laughs> what? Dana Grace just said they ordered taco hell for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you are not kidding. Orange, yellow. Ugh. It's too salty. Orange, yellow, blue, and green. Aren't these fun? Yes. Someone said they're Fred Roberts. Okay. That means nothing to me. Who the hell's Fred Roberts? <laughs> Mom, Fred Roberts, like the company, made in Japan. I don't know. I've never heard of Fred Roberts. Yes, you have. Okay. Um, I've shown many things that are Fred Roberts. <laughs> it's just a company. <laughs> yeah, I don't, other than those two little chips on the rim of those two, they're in great condition. That um, The transfers aren't worn at all. They're in great condition. I love these. I don't know why I haven't sold them sooner. Thanks, Maria. Oh, it still has a piece of tape on it. Um, screw it. You know what? Let's just war them. Let's just war everything. I don't know. We're not warring everything, but we'll war this. Let's just war everything. I'm going to put, okay, let's start these four. You know what? Let me tell you how tall they are. I'm just going to pretend like you're not even talking. Five and a half inches tall by three inches in diameter. Five and a half tall by three in diameter. Okay. Those two, these two, let's war them. Let's start them at, um, I don't know, they're kind of neat, you guys. How about, let's start them at 18. All right, starting at 18, we'll go for 90 seconds. We'll when see, I see where the first we go bed. from 18. I think they're neat. Unless you don't want me to sell these, honey. Do you want to start drinking your Diet Mountain Dew in these? <laughs> Shut up. 
Shut up is not kind words. Lucy? Lucy, don't say shut up. We don't say shut up. She's real big into saying shut up right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She is. And she's loud. I can hear her clear across the house. Shut up, Frankie. <laughs> Francis just spent the last three days with me. We're at 18 for Deborah. She had a three sleep, as she calls it. She sure did. Uh huh. She <laughs> was. Um... Has anyone ever had a four sleep? She says to me. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to. Well, I didn't. Um... Gonna pack with ginger roll. I was going to take her home yesterday. I told her she could have a three sleep, and they kind of fade too. See? It's not fun. See how they sort of fade at the base? They're really cool. They're pretty. See, it kind of, the color kind of goes up the cup. Can you see that? Um, anyway, um, I discovered that I had to drive a couple hours out of town to go get an auction lot that I completely forgot about. And um, I thought, oh my God, it was a gorgeous day yesterday. And I thought, oh, I don't want her stuck in the car all day Oops. with me. Got about 10 seconds, everybody. Um, or 25 for Ginger Girl. But then I thought, oh, I can't. I can't not. I, uh, she's got to go with me. I can't. I mean, she's so she is such a perfect kid. And I'm not she's kidding really you. Easy. She was absolutely perfect in the car. Absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. She basically slept the whole way up there. And then. Oh, good. Uh, she needed a nap. Yeah. She was tired when I talked to her. All right, Ginger yeah. Girl gets them for $25. Oh, I'm so glad. I love these. It's, it's like stuff I have in storage. I'm like, what the hell? I don't even remember I had these. <laughs> I have stuff in the basement I didn't even know I had. Okay, let's... I'm not kidding you when I tell you I have got some serious linens tonight, you guys. I mean, I don't know why I have so much. I just I'm not it. selling anything, so I'm hoping that if I just push her, she's going to get through everything. Yeah. We're going to get through everything. I mean it. We're going to. We're going to do it. Um, okay. Let's start with. No, I got to sell this first to get it out of the way. Okay. And we are going to wear it. I am. I'm sorry. <clears throat> did we try to sell this last time? No. Or did I just it. show it? Didn't even get to it. We didn't get to it. Okay. So this is one of my favorite things in all the land. So it's this. I got this auction lot last year. And this guy is. He's a little bit damaged. I mean, not terrible. Not terrible. Just on the bottom. And I actually think there's meant to be a hole there. But he's this like mercury glass bird. You know, he goes on a Christmas tree. But he's mercury and he is very fragile. And I would imagine those are fiberglass. His little tail is fiberglass and they go in and out. His little tail has some damage, but it's no big. Because he's gorgeous. See? This kind of floats out, goes back in. Oh, isn't he beautiful? I think he is a hummingbird. He very well could be a hummingbird. He kind of looks like he's very fragile. He's mercury glass with that fiberglass tail. Then I just stuck him in this nest. Now, if you want this nest, you can have it. But um, also, because I thought he looked super cute on top of... Oh, Jesus. Beth says, he, missing his clip, ergo the hole. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Then there are these, I'll send you these two that have come off also, but they're these old, old, old mercury beads. I mean, they're almost the size of like ornaments. Yeah, they're big ones. But they're strong. I mean, they're, they're mercury beads. I mean, they were, they were strong. They were meant on a, to be on a tree. Aren't those neat? There's like a, I didn't clean them up at all. It's like pink and green and gold. They're all faded and wonderful. I've never seen them this big. Yeah, they're all going together, Dana Grace. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna settle all together. So this little bird, and then there's these two loose ones, but you can um, you can restring these if you want to. While you're talking about them, what would you like to start them at? I would start these at the bird and the mercury beads at 20. Okay, starting at 20, you know what to do. And if you guys want this little nest, because I think that, see, here's how I put it. Um, Because I didn't want the bird, anything to happen to the bird. So I put the little beads, see, I put them in the nest like this. Then I put the little birdie. They're even a touch bigger than a marble. Oh, yeah. 
they're yeah they're they're like marble sides they're um well i'll measure them for you anyway and then i put the little birdie on top see oh look this is a war and it's starting at 20. Oh, yes. Just a minute. Peterson. I'll tell you how big they are. They are from, now I'm not counting the ends of them. They're all about three quarters of an inch. 20 for Jacqueline. They're about three quarters of an inch. Each of them. They're pretty big. They're weird. They're big. I've ne I have never ever seen them strung like this, this big. And I have got a ton of mercury bees, strands of mercury bees. Yes, you do. 25 for Cam. Tons of them. I probably have, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 strands of them. Aren't those neat? Yes. And this little mercury right. glass bird. He's probably made in Germany, I imagine. One minute left. We're at 25 for Cam. I would bet he's German in nature. He's got his little eye mark on this side. He's cool. His tail is super cool. He is very fragile. God, this kind of stuff, I swear to God, you just look at this stuff and it breaks. We're at about 35 seconds, and we're at $25 for cam for the bird and the I don't beads. know. Yeah, it's really neat. I love mercury glass. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> I'll tell you, though, you, you break an ornament, it's like breaking... It's like dropping uh, like a fluorescent light. Ooh. I mean, it shatters and goes everywhere. 26 for Danny Grace, 10 seconds. Especially the older it is. <laughs> and the right. thinner it is, the more it shatters. I shall try not to drop your bird in beads in the process of transporting it to you. I had forgot, I, uh, last, I don't remember when I got this auction, but I got it, and I got this box that was oh. just. Jacqueline Vaccaro. Had old things in it, like mm -hmm. old Christmas things, and these were in, I mean, how these weren't broken is beyond me. Yeah, that's magical. I really don't know. We put those over there. Yep. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, sugar. Um. Oh, oh. No, Doug! I hate you so much. Mom. What? Just a minute. Oh my God. I'm gonna commit you. I know. Oh, I love this. No, one. I mean it. I know. Oh, I can't bid that much, it's too much. Damn it, Doug. Give me a second. This is important. It's not. It benefits you. I mean it. It really does. This is Doug doing this. I know it. Hold on. I really like these guys. Hey, does anyone, these cameos are super neat. It's not him. Really? Couldn't get registered for some reason. Oh, well, that's weird. Well, we're not sisters, but that is my mom, which makes me feel old. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. She's bidding on the entire auction. No, I'm not. I just, this is a really important one. You don't ever see this stuff. Isn't that right, Doug? Oh, God, $95. Holy hell. Okay, next. I'll get what I get, and I won't throw a fit. Right, Sam? Yep. You guys want something neat? You should have put your high bid in before. I don't know what my high bid is. That's the problem. Oh, my God. My <laughs> high bid changes. <laughs> this was a delightful surprise. I will say this. It's a swung base. Um, <laughs> thank you, Maria. Uh, damn it. Um... But it's, I bid on this auction lot, and it's, I don't know who makes this. It's, I Since soaked it for a bit, but it's still pretty, it's kind of dirty on the inside, so you have to soak it more. Yet another thing I'm um, outbid me for. I did outbid Sam on this. Now, in fairness, I did not know. that. I mean, I saw this swung vase in there, yeah. but I had no idea it was uranium. No clue. I mean, it was, 
Oh my God, this auction stuff that we picked up from, oh my God, it was a dump. I think we should probably start warring now. Yeah, here, we'll war, we'll war this one. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm missing one of my makeup sales. Um, I just got the notification. Oh, cute. <laughs> How much more makeup do you need, do you think? I like the headbands. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I need a purse. Oh, Royland starts us at 40. All right. Thanks, Roy, for starting that. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous All right, we're, we're going, guys. We're warring. It, Royland's um, at 40, 45 for Michelle. Has zero damage, believe it or not. Yeah, she's a good looker. For the, uh, I mean, even the bottom is good. Uh, show them this. It's not damaged, but it's um, from the maker. Oh, yeah, there's a little... It's like a glass bubble right there where it was, you know. Just so you're not concerned. Uh, yeah, that's how damaged it's a maker thing. We're at Isn't that gorgeous? 55 seconds. I mean, it's opalescent. $55 to Lori Worley. It's a swung vase. It's I honestly, no clue who makes it. Uh, let me tell you how tall it is. I can tell you that. $60 to Jacqueline Vaccaro. I like those sales because the girls almost all speak Spanish. And it helps me with my Spanish. <laughs> it is... 65 to Lori. 11 and just about 12 inches. Just about at 12 inches. So it's not huge. God, I tell you what. 20 you know seconds. Who usually buys these is Jacqueline Vaccaro. And I end up having to, like, make a box out of, you know, witchcraft to send her these. That's okay, Kari. We know it's you. To send her these vases. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Renee. We're at um, 65 for Lori Wortley. Oh, and there comes Jacqueline. Um, there, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely oh. gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. I, uh. Ah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let me see who got it. Just a moment. Lori Wortley for 73 doll hairs. Well, look at that little Lori Wortley. Just. Thank you, Lori. Doing what she does. At a girl. Lori. What's that? At? Oh, hell, hell. I can't bid that much. Lori. I don't have that kind of money. Good Lord. That's ridiculous. Swung face. Thank you, Mrs. Wortley. I do believe that, or I do uh, appreciate that. I think that is my only uranium tonight, by the way. Oh, thanks, Maria. Um, oh, here's something cute. It is, I think, a little sponge holder. You guys, don't you suppose? Look at it's a wheel. I would say so. Wouldn't you consider that to be a sponge holder? I'd put a sponge right in there. Yeah, a little drip wear. It's red wear. Isn't it fun? It's not marked. I, I don't it. know. I have no idea who made it. It's old. This was, uh, I just picked this up this week. I think it's super cute. It was um, part of uh, yet another disappointing auction. Mm. I mean, this is really cute, but... Um, I don't think it's an ashtray, Evan. Uh-uh. No, it's not, <laughs> not an ashtray. Not this one. Uh-uh. I think it's like a sponge holder. Mm -hmm. Or you could, like, throw an uh, air plant in it if you wanted or something. You know, it's cute. Hi, Carrie. Let me see. Well, there's our girl, Carrie. It is about five and a half inches long by... About four inches tall. It's cute. Very, very cute. I like it. I don't, you know, usually it's a frog. Do you know? know? It's a whale. But this is a red rare whale. How about $15 for that cuteness? $15, number 23. How about that on a Thursday? What are you guys doing for the holidays? Anybody? This is, by the way, why we're having the sale today. Yeah, because of Memorial Day. Yeah. Uh, Norma Jacob. Thank you, Norma Jacob. Thank you, Norma. Say 15. 15. Yeah. I don't even like these pools Whale. as much. I don't know why I'm bidding on them. I mean. Sponge. I mean, I suppose if I have to. I knew that was you that outbid me on those damn poodles. What poodles? The poodles. Oh. Ha ha. Ha ha. I want the Santa is what I want. I, I didn't even try for Santa. I just can't. Uh, I, I passed him because I knew that the auction was too close to home. <laughs> oh, you're going to go get to see George the Antique Nomad? That'll be great. Oh, fun. He's a nice guy. 
He is. I'd love to meet him. We have never met him. I would mm -hmm. love to meet him. Here's something different. Um, Stop. Talavera pottery <laughs> is is not tonala. Is that how I call it? Tonala. 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 And also, uh, it's swung vase, not swan vase. I know that can be. Yes, yeah, swung. Sound kind of the same. <clears throat> like past tense of swing. Swing. Swung. So like how it they make it. It was swung once. That's how they make it. Well, thank you, Josie. Jos. Oh. Mm. J O S. Um. With an apostrophe over the E and then another E. How would you say that name? J O S. So Jose E. Jose E E. No. Jose. Mm -mm. Jose A. Nope. So Jose A. <laughs> I don't think so. Jose A. <laughs> Jose. Oh, okay. It's just Jose. Told ya. An asshole. Yeah, I guess so. Um. Wow, dollars. Are you kidding me right now? Mom. Ugh. This is important. Okay. You've got a whole basement of important. No, not important. Not as important as this. Um, these are Talavera pottery. They're really, really pretty. I don't know. I, is Christy here? Her mom knows all about Talavera. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. They're marked different. They're gorgeous. I just, I got to talk to Katie. Talavera is more um, detailed than, say it again. Tonala? Tonala. Tonala is how we s dummies say it. Yeah. It's mm. just, it originated in Spain. They're gorgeous. And then... Um, They're the, very Spain. The Spanish people brought them over to Mexico and brought this, like, technique over. It's kind of like, you know what it is, you guys? It's like, it's like Mexican um, majolica is, is really what uh, Talavera pottery is made like it's like majolica same process ish Hi, I, I am not bidding one more penny on that damn poodle good aren't these gorgeous yes. there's a set of four of them oh i love these and they are in good shape nope that's a lie there's a little chip right there now this is easily remedied because this is like um this clay would be really easy you could easily do this with um an acrylic or uh Watercolor and easily match that up. In fact, if you want me to do it, I'll do it for you. Did I show this one to you yet? I don't think so. So there's these two. Here's the mark. Talavera. Gorgeous. And there's only like a certain region that they make these in, in Mexico. They are glorious. So if you collect Mexican pottery... This is like, mm, it, it's just very, very nice pottery. They're all glazed. You can use them. If you're a fan of Spanish architecture and the like. Talavera is I'll always glazed. This. Yeah, it's beautiful. So there's these four. Set of four. There's only that little chip on that one. These gorgeous beasts. And they are. And they are the four of them. I'm going to put the four of them at 20 That's probably a pretty good price for those. $20, number 11. Hi, Kitchy. Kitchy cat. And, you know, it's like Mexican pottery, like all Mexican pottery. Um, it's, you know, it's all handmade, obviously. But, like, they're, they're a little bit different sizes. I mean, they're... Kitchy wants your rat shirt. Oh, do you? It's not mine. It's my husband's. Shoot. I usually steal uh, his t-shirts. Hi, Hazel. Just because I do. Um, but they're like different sized. They're they're definitely handmade. $20 for the four of them, number 11. Oh, I said I was going to do linen. And yeah. I didn't do it. Still can. Well, I you know what happened? Tell me. I uh, got distracted by something that's not this sale. I got distracted by... Something that's not the sale. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Which that sometimes happens to me. Okay. Let's do. Yeah. Spanish pottery does sometimes look Moroccan because um, they use really bright, vivid color. Yeah, they do. This, um, it's mm. it's not Spanish. It was it originated in in Spain, like in the 1600s. Right. That's why it's just like kind yeah. of like that. It's made in Mexico. It's it's Mexican pottery. It's just. 
in a different region. It's called Talavera, and it's it's very high quality Mexican pottery. It's very, very nice. I love it. Some people like, to, I can't say it right. Um, tonala. Uh-huh. Tonala. Which I also like. And some people are partial to Talavera. It just, I don't know, I guess. It They're just similar, on but different. Um, Talavera pottery is much more colorful mm -hmm. than um, Tonala. Tonala. We were told very politely that we were saying it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The leggings are um, tie-dyed, but they were tie-dyed by the great company of Walmart. You can find these leggings at Walmart. Somebody asked about my leggings. Oh, how fancy of Indeed. you. Indeed. Gosh. Okay, because I can never um, seem to pedal my I say it how you like to, yes. <laughs> um, I, I always have to put them on something else. because I've You got, like to pair things. I do like to pair things. Talladega pottery. <laughs> what? <laughs> Instead of Talavera pottery, he said it's Talladega pottery. Who did? Doug said that? Proud American. Proud American. Proud American. Love that Dear, whip. Dear, eight pound, 12 pound ounce, ounce, sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. There is, what are these things called again? I See, now, I don't know if this is a dresser scarf or if it's a, I think it's a like dresser a runner. scarf. I, it's I pretty would, short to be a runner. I would use it on a table, but that's just me. So, it's purple. Hi from Kansas, Anita. It's per Hey, Anita from Kansas. What part of Kansas do you hail from? So there's this. Then there is, so I got to put a couple of uh, doilies with it. Here's this purple doily. I like it when they do this situation where they like double it up, mm -hmm. you know. For a bit of texture. For some it's texture. Playful. For some movement, <laughs> if you will. We're not fancy people. No, we're not at all. Um, so there's this. There's this. Then, the piece de la resistance. <coughs> Look at this. Look at that. Look at the texture on this. It's lovely. God damn it. I would say those are supposed to be grapes. I would think so, too. Aren't those neat? Isn't that good? Can you imagine the work that went into this? Holy Great pants. Bend. Anita's from Great Bend. Oh, I thought that was um, Indiana. Well, it's no, that's... Not great That's bend. just their name. So there's this, this doily, this thing. Runner, runner slash scarf. Slash scarf. <laughs> and doing some chest modeling with my gigantic big boobs. And this. There. The three of them. Dolores, you never corrected us. Um, we were talking to uh, Christy and her mom. And Christy was just saying like, oh... This is what, this is how we say it in Spanish. Don't know. Yeah. I say everything wrong in Spanish. You're I not just... being, um, you're not correcting anyone. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, no. Please correct <clears throat> if you need to, if something is being mispronounced. Now, understand that my son-in-law is Hispanic. Dolores was saying because she's Mex or, uh, Mexican American, she speaks Spanish. Oh, Dolores, I didn't know that. Yeah. I had no idea. Um, mm, mm, mm. so I'm going to put all three of these, not including my huge boobs. Yes. It Thank does you, look Jen. My, look how big it makes my boobs look. Oh my God. Aw. Your <laughs> dream. It is my dream. <laughs> it always has been. Maybe you should start a GoFundMe. I wish I need a big boob GoFundMe, you guys. That's pathetic. How no, much are these? I don't know. The three of them. Um, I'm going to say hmm. Whatever you I'm going to say $18 for the 3. $18 number 40. Is that fun? I kind of like that uh blue in there. That teal, whatever the hell that is. You know. Yeah. Oh, thanks super chat for Sarah. Royline. Thanks, Roy. I'll add it to your pile. I'll add it to your box. The Roy box. Okay, so we're going We're going to call this the purple set. Yeah, it's the only purple I have. Ooh, oh, my arthritis is acting up in my mm -hmm. hand. E 20? Eeks. 
20? No, 18. 18. Don't rip off Roy. 2000 No. $28,000. Thanks, Roy. Bless your heart. Cool. That'll cool, get cool, me cool. some new boobs and then some. Remove yeah. some of this fat, which would be great. Um, okay, that's that. Um, oh, here. Here's a bird. Is this occupied Japan? No, you know what? I think it's Nippon. It's either Noritake or Nippon. I can never decide which. They're kind of one and the same, but I mean, Noritake is an offshoot of Nippon, if anybody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that anybody gives two shits about that. Sure. But I decided I would exercise my knowledge here at Thrift U and tell you that. Do you know why I know that? Tell me. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. Keto Sean wants you to know that you are beautiful the way you are. <sighs> Thank you, Sean. If only gay men, I mean straight men, thought the same. Yeah. I love gay men. I need a Rosie, gay man best friend. You know that it takes her eight, 82 years to show one thing. Is Rosie wanting this Rosie damn said, bird? Oh my God, show the bird. <laughs> How do you suppose I feel, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie, you... This is for you, it. Rosie. <laughs> Here is the bird wall pocket. It is quite pretty. I understand. <laughs> Don just donated do a dollar to your um, to your big boob fund. My God, what are we at? One dollar. One dollar plus. One. Is that it? One. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. I'm on my way. Thank More you. bird beak, less of your beak. Eh, well, best of luck. <laughs> it's This is in really good shape, I think. <laughs> I always say that, then I'm like, oh, shit, maybe not. Here's the back. Cute. Uh, oh, she's got many linens today. Oh, yes. cheesecake, don't go anywhere. I got nothing but linens. <laughs> um, this is cute. It's a wall pocket. Little birdie wall pocket. Made in Japan. Thanks, Super Maria. cute. I think this cute thing is going to be, it's also about five inches tall. Um, it's going to be mm, pretty clean. I think I cleaned it. It's going to be mm, $16. $16. Number 62. Yeah, Sam looks adorable in purple. <laughs> We're going to try to incorporate adorable. Anyone else can say it. It's just weird when she does. Why? Uh, Annette Mayfield. God, tell me nice. the price again. $16. Are you looking at an auction? I'm looking at the sale in this. I'm trying to keep you on the rails. <laughs> Are you there. kidding me? Please. Does Do I have any glow collectors? Here. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Uh, I, I collect globes because I love them. Um, old ones, you know. But... I've got a million of them. Uh, I've got so many that they're down in the basement, like unused. So, of course, I bid on another globe because why wouldn't I? I don't know. I do see an Afghan over there. Yeah, there's an Afghan and there's two chenille bedspreads. Are any of them queen? The chenilles? One of them's twin, I know that, but I'm upping the ante by adding some stuff to it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So Maria said, Sam, you're funny. Diane said, it's Sam's coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> and Diane you, who? You couldn't be more right. Which Diane? I'm, for the sake of her, um... Diane um, B? Anonymity. Or Diane M? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that in, information private. You bitches. <laughs> hate you guys hate you so much i mean it all of you yeah do, do we have any does anybody like globes uh i've not I gotta, seen i mean it i gotta get rid of this globe i need it's old it's... i mean i'd say just show it give it a shot I maybe can't... they'll see the globe and be lit on fire with joy i can't have all these globes you guys oh it's got a moon them. and a sun, the light on the top yeah it's neat it's old it's an old globe it's i think it's maybe nine inches eight inches Yay. Also, I think Francis understands that like half of the world is asleep when the other half is awake because 
She goes, and this side is the nighttime, and this side is the daytime. I'm like, the hell do you know that? Well, she knows about the lunar eclipse and stuff. <laughs> because she's, she's basically smart. a witch. She's, oh, Frances Ann is so witchy. Oh, look, Michelle, what? either boob job or corn syrup slash scotch roos. Oh, $1 thanks. Thanks, wow. Hickson. Thanks, guys. My boob fund is growing thanks, rapidly. Sarah it's going to be tough because I refuse to go back to the hospital, so... Okay. I mean, I think they do. They can do it in a clinic. Okay. Well, they're going to put you under. So. You know what happened when they're I went to the hospital? They're not going to do an awake surgery on you for your boobs. I understand that. It isn't the anesthesia that bothers me. It's the fact that they put me in the Really? Because tank. I've talked to you about getting outpatient surgery and you won't do it. I don't mind. It's not the anesthesia that bothers me. I'm just not going to put be put on the alcoholic floor again. They're not going to put you on the alcoholic floor again because you won't drink. <laughs> This is a nine-inch globe. Now, I do believe they measure globes, like the mm. globe part. They don't measure the base when they measure a globe. It's the globe they measure. So, to the top of the globe from the bottom is 10 inches. Is this heavy? No. I'm going to ask that you be shot in the head. Um, how, uh, now, there's got to be a date on here somewhere. Uh, you're going to have to look. Look right there. It's old. It's in good condition. It's got one of those fun tops where it's got, you know, like morning and night. Right here on the seam. It doesn't have it there. Look at the top. Eh? What you would think at some point I would be prepared. Wouldn't you? Right, what about right here? No. <clears throat> Why wasn't it? <laughs> mm, it just says copyright rep logo globes. Doesn't have a date. Okay. Okay. It is a, a repoggle. Repoggle. It's Korea, North and South. It's a repoggle globe. I don't know. Clear, accurate, up to date is what it says. Oh, eight inch. It's an eight inch standard globe. Korea. Let's go to Korea. Let's go to the eastern part of the... Oh, mm. Jesus. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't... Where I the hell is help. Korea? I would love to help you. Um, Bruce just said it was in Asia. Okay, there's Thailand. I can see Thailand. French, Indonesia. So, that's not there. Mom, you Philippines. can't see. Is this the Philippines or is that Japan? That's Japan. That's Japan. Where the hell are the Philippines? Where, Mom, Down here. Can I see the globe? Yeah. Oh, this. No. Yeah. Here. I can't see it. Let's see here. Africa. It's still Africa. French West Africa. Do they still call it that? No, they don't call it that. It still uh, has Mongolia, China... Where is Korea? It should Korea's be right there. Here. I know, that's where I'm looking, but I don't see it. Are you looking in the right area? I was pretty sure that Korea was here. Um, Is it more up here? It says Manchuko. Manchuko? Is that even real? I don't know. What's Korea by, you guys? I thought it was China. just north of China. No, it's south of China. Oh, it's south of China. Well, then now I feel dumb. <laughs> She's a smart one. But it's not called... Are you sure? Yeah, he knows. You know what I'm going to do? That's uh, There's Thailand. Is it right next to Thailand? Let me go get my... Uh, you guys chat amongst yourselves. Here, you know what? Buy these. Here, Bruce, come here. Here, buy these. Show me where freaking Korea is. These are Hazel Atlas, like from the 40s. Aren't they cute? They're like that minty 1940s green. Hazel Atlas. They are $14. And they're number 22. Aren't those cute? But does it say Korea? No. That's why I couldn't find it. Jack I was looking right at it. Wants these cute 
What does it say? It, this must be really old because... It doesn't say Korea. It says Indochina. French Indochina or something like that. Yeah. Just a minute, because I'm going to get the... Um, what's that thing called? Okay, I knew Sample. I wasn't stupid. I was looking right at it. What's that thing called? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm the trying... Magnifying glass. Bruce already found it. I know, but I want to see what it says. Uh, did you say those were $14? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, Jacqueline, for Carl. Let me write you down. <laughs> <coughs> Salt, pepper, green, lids. Got it. Okay. Oh. Christ, on the cross. No, I was looking in the wrong spot. It's right there. Okay, that's where I thought it was. It's right there. That's the first place I thought. Does it say Korea? Got the chosen. The chosen. Yeah. Good yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's the first place I looked, and everybody told me I was wrong. No, I was looking in the wrong spot. It's right there. Does it say north and south? My smartness is revoked or returned. Or does it just say Korea? It doesn't even say Korea. No, it doesn't, it doesn't. Well, what the hell? I thought it's always been Korea. I know Japan's an island. <laughs> <sighs> While we're waiting, this is unmarked. It's a wall pocket. It's $15. It's a cardinal. Let me look at it to make sure it doesn't have any eyes. It's got some, like, it's it's not paint wear, but it looks like it is. This thing it's has glazed to be really over. old because it's saying Chosen, the city of Chosen, is Japanese. Run by Japan. Is Russia Russia? Okay, this nope. is fifteen dollars. Yeah. It's the we shall answer. Union of Social of Soviet Socialist Republic. The Union of Soviet Social Republic. Great on the inside. I don't see any alleys on it. It's cute. I don't know who made it. It's probably I don't know. A cardinal on a house. Probably somewhere here in the States. $15 and it's number 19. Honey, go do some research on that before I sell it, would you? Yeah. Oh, we'll get you a date. Bruce is going to look I'm so mad about that because I was looking where Korea is. <laughs> and Korea was not there. <laughs> <laughs> Lori Wortley. Thanks, Wortley. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Really? Okay, I will tell you, when I bought this, this was not the... Okay, Sam, was this... No, this was not in the auction I was bidding against you. I would have bid on that if that was. Um, And it did not show as these colors. Yeah, I would have bid on it regardless. But it's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. It's like... You guys know I love an afghan. Here, I'll move. It, it is fabulous. I love these colors. Okay, first of all, the border is black. Which, you can't go wrong. No. Look at these colors. It's like, what color? Like, teal, bright pink, bright green, and yellow. Isn't this fantastic? Dana Grace just said, Sam, you are a genius. Don't let anyone steal your sunshine. <laughs> Sam is very, very smart. <laughs> yes. It's kind of a like a throw size, you oh, know? Oh, it's big. I, yeah, it's a good throw size. It's not like an over the back of the couch. It's bigger. Yeah, I'll measure it for you. But isn't this fun? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's, it reminds me of like sprinkles. Damn, Damn what option what? did you get that in? Uh, shit. I can't, you know what? I don't remember. Oh, it's in squares, too, I guess. Mm. I really didn't even look at it that close. See, it's in squares. Isn't that fun? Confetti. Yeah, it's a confetti. Oh, I love it. I think it is so neat. It's lovely. I know it. Um, I, uh, just meant, let me measure it for you here real quick. You'll want to know that. I mean, I think you could, you know, the nice thing about Afghans is they're kind of stretchy because they're so heavy. Mm-hmm. And uh, you could throw this over a twin bed probably pretty easily. There's damage on the edge over there, just so you know, mm. on the back side. 
Oh, right here? Yep. Oh, I don't think that's damage. I think that's where they ended it. Oh, where they stopped the stitch. See? That's okay. where they ended it. So it isn't really damaged. They just, um, I mean, it's, it's just the end of the afghan. I don't see any holes in it. I don't believe it I has don't see any, any holes. holes in it. I just didn't want to miss anything. Yeah. Let me measure it for you real quick. Uh, oh, here. It is. <laughs> Hazel wants some afghan leggings. Oh, God, me too. Wouldn't that be cute? Comfy for winter. Oh, that would be cute. Hey, Sam, come here for a sec, would you? Just okay. for a real quick sec. Sure. We just hold, hold up the edge of that. Yep. I don't want my big boobs to get in the way. 60 by... I don't know how you make it through. I don't either. So five feet by... Mm, about 32. 60 by 32. That's a good nap blanket. Yeah, isn't that fun? Oh, I love it. Um, a happy gan. Oh gosh, yeah, it is super happy. It's it is. It's just happy. I picked it up and I'm like, oh, I love it more than when I bought it. You better make sure the kids don't see that. Oh, the kids would love this. I can't hardly take an afghan inside, or it's I don't get to sell it. I know. I told we'll you guys it. one time that um, I went to a. I used to go in people's houses all the time and do their physicals for insurance and. Um, I went in and the lady, there was a lady, she was kind of, you know, she was just kind of earthy. Could I stop you real quick? Are yeah. you going to war this? Uh, I don't know. Should I? I think people really like it. I think you should start it at 20. All right. Let's war it. Let's start it at 20. Start it at 20. So you went into the lady's house. I went house. into this lady's house and um, I bet she had 20 Afghans, all different, stacked. And they were so cool. And oh, Jen, they sell for a ton. If you have more that you want to get rid of, sell them. Don't, I mean, you, I'm, donating them is nice, but if you want to make money. For, uh. She what? donated a bunch of Afghans. Oh, yeah. They've been, um. It, see, I don't. I never was really an Afghan person either. Now, I love quilts, but... Janet Green for 20. Um, but then, all of a sudden, I kind of started... You know, the 70s, 70s decor is so popular right now. And they're very 70s, very... Oh, shoot. They're just very... They're very, very popular right now. 22 for Lori Wortley. They go for an absolute fortune on Etsy. Isn't that fun? I just washed it. Yeah, I love an afghan. Anybody want to take a guess at how old this globe is? They really have, Dolores. 1945. Oh, oh the so globe is close. 1945, you guys. I'll show it to you in a minute. 25 for Janet. Oh, I saw you, Sue. Sorry about that. Oh, Jen. <gasps> oh, that makes Sam's heart hurt. Sure does. Because she loves Sue. afghans. I pick them up because they're, well, I've got one upstairs on the kid's bed. Yeah, um, I love, love that them. one. I do love that one. We're at 26 for Sue. We got about 25 seconds. Looks like 27, 27 for, for Marianne. Jesus. Yeah, they're pretty neat. 30 for Janet. They're just so fun. I, they're so fun together. I just, I want somebody to buy a bunch of Afghans and uh, stack them all up. And then take a picture and put it in our Facebook group. 31 for Sue. They are good napping, too, because they're kind of heavy, you know? Janet's not messing around. She knew the end of the bid was coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. 40 for Janet. Thank uh, you, Janet. Jen, when these started, when these became so popular, I am in the same boat with you. I'm like, okay, they're Afghans. I love Afghans. They are enormously popular right now. If you have any more, even if you don't resell, sell them either on Facebook Marketplace or uh, Etsy. You will get a ton of money for them. People love them. Thank you, Janet. I assume Janet got that. Yes, she did. Okay. Hi, Miss Pamela. Hi, Danny. Hey, Miss Pam. Hey, Danny. Oh, okay. All right. 
close. No. 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 All right. I don't, Bruce is in love with the globe. Um, you know what? Here's a little kitty string holder. Look at that. Hmm? Look at you. It's a string holder. It's a kitty. You didn't get the notification for the sale? Stupid YouTube. Oh, man. I have no idea who makes this. Not nary a clue. Uh, looks like I need to clean the bottom. I didn't clean the bottom because I didn't take the string out of it. I haven't even cleaned it at all. Isn't that fun? It is quite fun. Isn't that cute? Yes. Yeah, it is very fitting, isn't it, for a string holder? A kitty. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love it. Um, it's pretty popular. I'm going to say... Let me make sure it's not damaged. I don't think it is. Ears are good. There's like a little tiny bit of paint loss right there. Are you able to mount him on a wall? Um, hmm. I don't think if you, well, you know that what you hole. could do? Yeah, you could like hang him this way if you wanted, but his string comes out I think that's the way you're here. supposed to. I oh, maybe. Like it's a hole, wouldn't you think? Well, you gotta be able to put the string somewhere. Well, right, but you just take it off the wall. Yeah. Hi, Edward. Isn't it cute? Um, I think he's meant to sit, though, because his hole is up high. So I think he's meant to sit on the counter. He's pretty cute. Pretty cute baby. Oh, yeah, you could do command strip for sure. I mean, you could you could hang it. it you could. I mean, you just hang it like this and then it would be like like that how do you put the string in through the hole in the bottom right here so we put the string anyway this is well, i don't know it's pretty nice i'm gonna say 22 22 dollars number 37 oh something fun to show you i mean everything is fun but i have something really fun to show you cam's falling Cam, 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 Cam. Well, no, I'm not going to show you that fun thing yet. Thank you, Cam. I mean, it's all fun. Okay, here we are again. Plastic, salt and peppers. I went with the plat. well, not all plastic, but a lot of plastic tonight. Because they're so fun. Usually these are, okay, and I will tell you guys that these are very popular, this set. Um, in fact, when I bought them from the International House of Salt and Peppers at an estate sale, this woman had, I mean, uh, over, easily over a thousand sets of salt and peppers. Um, I talked them down in price on this. I'm like, I am not paying that. And I didn't, but they are, they're worth quite a bit actually. Look at these kitties. Little kitties. Hey, kitties. Hey. Sam turned your head this way. Like the kitties. Doing this. This is what they're doing. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this one still has its plug. This guy does not. It's, it's probably in storage somewhere. Face is good, no damage, no nothing. They're just cute. And again, very popular right now. Um, so, they're gonna be a little bit more. I'm gonna put these at 18. $18, number 12. A little higher than my normal salt and pepper price. They're a collectible bit. Yeah, they are. They're, they're kinda collectible. Thank you, Dolores. Liz Cowie, can you put that over your way? Okay, this is super pretty. And I kind of, I'm going to have Sam look before I sell it. Okay. Would you check and see if you can figure out who makes that? In just a second. Um, oh, you know what? Since we're doing the kitschy little uh, plastic ones. Oh, boy, these are very mid-century. These are made in the United States, made in the USA. Base is very good. Another little plastic set. Look how groovy this is. 
Look how neat these are. Look how cute. Aren't those fun? Oh, I think those are darling. I, I assume these unscrew somehow. I guess I don't know. Looks to be McCoy. Is it? Mm -mm, no, different bird. Never mind. How did how does the salt and pepper come out of here? Just a minute. I have a mystery on my hands here, and Sam is busy. I I I don't know how to do it. Can I? Hold on. <laughs> Uh, just a Where the hell do you... Are these salt and pepper? They, yes, they are. <laughs> these are merely a decorative piece. I, I am... Well, wouldn't loss. they all tip over once you, you know, did that? Well, what are they? I mean, I would assume they were salt and peppers, but they're not unscrewing. Twist. We're trying, Jen. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I think... One would assume. I'm guessing they come apart. Um, it'd be just like me to snap them, though. But I think there's a little hole right there. So I think... You know, they're on here, like so, and then, um, you know, and then I, I guess you pick them up and then you shake. They're very interesting. I will say that. You know, this is one of those things where, pasties, <laughs> this is one of those things where they're probably worth about $1,000, and I'm going to sell them to you for twelve because I don't ever look anything up. So, we'll put these at 12. You guys figure out how to open these damn things and let me know, would you? $12, number 81. Uh -huh. Very kitschy. Very kitschy. Uh -huh. They're kind of 50s. They're very 50s, aren't they? They're very red kitchen. Kind of like these. Joanne Baber. Joanne Baber. These are neat. I just like the look of them. Okay, I'm this is sure. fun. Really? Yeah. California? Yeah, there's one that looks kind of like it. That's McCoy. But um, it's not the same. There's also this here. Yeah. Oh, wait. What the hell is that? Just a little, little crack. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, it doesn't even go to the other side. Oh, it's barely a crack. I don't even Just think wanted you to be aware of it. Red ball salt and pepper things. Okay, this is a glorious vase. Um, we cannot determine who makes it. It is Mark California. Um, it is uh, super neat. It has a bird-ish. Okay, perfect. Do we know the year? 40... 45. 1945. Okay, no, this is not 1945. This is like... Um, See the bird? Isn't that pretty? That is a gorgeous face. It's California pottery. We just don't know who. Um, it's very pretty. It has... Uh, where is that? It's, it's... I don't even know if I want to call it a crack. <clears throat> Damn it. Where is it? I keep losing it. That's oh, right here. Right. Right. Oh, shit. I can't even feel it. It's it's right here. Although it does not... Oh, the colors are fantastic, aren't they? It doesn't go through to the other side. It doesn't... I don't know what it is. It's not really a crack. It's like a... I don't know. Just like a little thing, but it doesn't go through. It, let me just say this. I would not worry about it if I were you, if you buy it. It is, um, 
It's difficult to spot. It's unremarkable. It doesn't. But just so you know, when you get it. Right. It's Mom there. didn't do it. It's been there. Yeah. Look at that blue. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look, and it gets even more blue on this side. Hi, Angel. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. Inside's good. This good. Oh, this good. California. Um, It's tall. It's pretty tall. I don't know how tall because I lost the tape measure. Hmm. Oh, there. <laughs> it is 12 inches tall. Doesn't it seem taller than that? Yes. It's as tall as that swung base. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just because it's wider. It seemed taller than that to me. It's 12 inches tall and six and a half inches wide. It's very, very pretty. It's got a bird of sorts. Kind of a flamingo-ish. Oh, I actually I think, think that like is a, a flamingo. I don't know. Flamingo? Crane? Something? It's gorgeous. I think it's a, like a crane. It's very pretty. Anyway, um, I'm going to say... I don't know. I mean, it, it would probably sell for a lot more. I'm going to say 25 25 dollars number 79 that's pretty cheap oh i gotta show you something really cute oh i got a lot of cute things to show you and colors okay that's not related to us jacqueline vaccaro jacqueline loves vases yes she does we put that by her other vase um okay this is very it's a kid's toy really is what it is it's very old it is not marked anywhere but it is so neat i got this i can't remember um terry you were not first um you were jacqueline was first i'll show you oh stop moving chat i want to focus there jacqueline was right above you thanks for your diligence though terry i do appreciate it I like it when you like what I'm selling. Um, honestly, I appreciate it. Um, this is like... Okay, it's more than cardboard, but not wood. Is it particle board? Um, it's too old to be particle board. Okay. I don't know what it's... It's uh, like just like really, really reinforced paper. Car okay. harder than harder than cardboard though and it's like this circus wagon it is i've looked everywhere this thing is not marked anywhere i have no idea who makes it i love you too miss pamela um i got no idea it still has the pull it's like a pull toy um not really paper mache it's it it's kind of like cardboard but it's harder it's sturdier See? Okay, so there's this. So there's this, like, circus wagon. No, but not quite balsa wood. C okay, we're getting similar in density. Similar to balsa wood, but it's definitely, it's paper. It's definitely paper. See? Because you can see, like, like here. Fiberboard! Yes! Beautiful, Dana Grace. Yes, outstanding. It's on wheels. It's got little wood rods for the axles. Can you believe I even know that? Okay, so here is the little wagon. Mm. Then there are a bunch of circus animals that go with it. Okay, so there's this. First of all, let me measure it. It is... 11 inches long by 7 inches tall. Okay, so that's that. And then here's all the circus animals. Oh, Joanne, I'm sorry. What? Um, her sister just called her with an emergency. She fell down in her driveway. Oh, shit. Oh, Joanne. Ouch. Does it fold? I, no. I don't think so. However... Uh-uh. I don't think so. I think, well, that's not true. 
you know what? You could take it apart. I think you could take it apart because these are like, um, they're slots. See, it's slotted, but it doesn't, when I do this, it doesn't fold because it's got the, the wood axles. Do you live close, Joanne? Can you go to her? Mm, Jen, I was the third baseman and backup pitcher. Isn't that fun? Or catcher. I was gonna say you didn't pitch a day in your life. Catcher. Oh, girl, Robert, I did have that very, that very lucrative strong pitching to career. Pitching career. <laughs> anyway, I think you could take it apart right, it if catcher. you wanted to, um, and store it. But it doesn't, you know, because of the wheels, it doesn't fold. Okay, let's look at the animals. Kangaroo. They're all on these uh, wood bases, by the way. Yeah, I wouldn't take it apart. Uh -uh, I, I wouldn't would either. Afraid. I wouldn't either. Um, there's a giraffe. He's, the animals are in uh, really pretty Aww. decent condition considering a kid played with us. Joanne doesn't, said her sister doesn't want her at the hospital. Oh. Now, giraffe has had, he's had better days. His legs are a little, I mean, he's been loved. Who doesn't love a giraffe, though? Seriously. Totally. Um, here's the elephant. Again, I cannot find a mark on these anywhere. They're old. That elephant's cute, isn't it? Yes. Here's the zebra. And here's the lion. Aren't the graphics on these great? Yes. Um, here's the rhinoceros. I don't think there's a rhinoceros at the zoo or at the circus. I'm just saying. Um, here's the tiger. The tiger is awesome. Is that fun? Yes. Oh, yeah. The graphics are fantastic on this. I mean, look at the wagon. Isn't that fantastic? Um, here's a monkey. There's a lot of animals. And there's a bear. Oh, Jen, I'm sorry. Or is that a hippopotamus? That is not <coughs> a Is that a bear? Mm. Or a warthog? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would say a hippo. Yeah, it could be a hippo. Here's a seal. He used to have a ball on his nose, I bet. Well, the animals come off their bases. I wouldn't take them off their bases. I wouldn't. This is really old. I mean, they're it slotted in there. See? But... I don't know that I would. I mean, you could probably, but you might damage this fiberboard. Thanks to Dana Grace, who pointed out that's what it was. Um, and the, here's a little girl. Hold on. There's a little girl. Isn't that sweet? Yes. And here is the carn the circus guy, the ring the ringleader. ringleader. The ringleader. Isn't this cute? Yes. Oh, this is the cutest set. I've had this for a long time, too. It's over in storage. Let's see how many animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I forgot to show you the show horse. And the show horse. The show pony. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven animals and the little girl and the ringleader. And this and so they all just kind of go in here um this whole situation i don't know it's pretty neat i'm gonna put it at 30 you guys okay it's pretty cool hey michelle uh 30 dollars number 24 i dropped the little girl come cool. on cool for display really really cool for display i would for does the circus have a date we don't know it i cannot find Dolores a mark on Cowie. it anywhere i can't find a mark on it anywhere Thank you, Dolores. And, you know, per the usual, I didn't look anything up. So, I mean, why would I? Circus toy. You guys know this. Um, hey, Helen Booty. Because of my lack of, um, what would you call it? Hmm. Preparation? Yeah, my lack of preparation. I would say more time management. Yeah. I mean, I will make sure your stuff is about as clean as it is ever going to be. I mean, it's, be it's prepared. It's from just... any seller you ever buy from. Ever. Ever. It will always be clean. Always. From God himself. Hi, I Missy. mean, I will spend an inordinate amount of time cleaning things. Um, but 
because I don't take time to look things up, 95% of the time you are paying less than what it's worth. Yeah. Really, from me anyway. Yeah. And that's the God's honest truth. So, thank you, Dolores Cowie. Um, that is super neat. Someone said that they, mm -hmm. someone got it before they even heard the number. So, that's, you might be lagging. My suggestion would be to get out of the sale or even YouTube completely and then come back in. Yeah, come back in. We don't give anybody, they don't know the numbers. Hell, we don't even know the numbers. Yeah. You guys, we have nothing written down. Nobody knows. I don't numbers. think they're Sam saying just... that. I think they know the, the lag is happening. Oh, yeah. But. Um, Wait till you come to this Facebook sale. You think this lag is bad? Yeah, it's it's pretty comparable to like um, like old uh, what's it called a uh, Streamyard lag. So, <laughs> but it's super fun. It is super fun because we can listen to really music. It is really fun. If you yeah. don't know, we are having a um, Facebook Live sale in our Facebook group. Mm -hmm. The sale went really well um, on Sunday. It went at great. Five Central Time. Thrift You Friends couldn't be easier to find. Just type in Thrift You Friends. Request to join the group. Yep. We'll, we'll friend, add you. Carrie will add you. Somebody will add you. Doug, somebody. Uh, me, maybe. I get on maybe you? once a month. Yeah. I've. It's going to be me, Carrie, or Doug, or Angela. Or Angela. <laughs> I've accepted about four people. That's how often. I mean, I try to remember. There are 10,000 people in the group. So I thanks for your contribution. That. You bet. Yep. Thank you for your hard work. Yeah. Thank you for all you've done for the group. I have told everybody that really Carrie is more the... <gasps> Hugh's here! Hugh! Hugh! How school? How the heck are you, buddy? Hugh. We haven't seen you in a minute. Bless your heart. How are you doing, kiddo? All right. Uh, Fifth Avenue playing cards, if that means anything to you. But wait till you see them. Okay. Okay, here's the box. It is really fun. All right, we look forward... And because... Sunday is or it's Memorial Day weekend. We thought, you know what? Screw it. We'll just let's just get on Facebook and have a sale over there and just have mm -hmm. fun. Because you know we know everybody's itching to get out and go do something for Memorial Day, and so whoever can be there can be there. It'll just it, it is a lot of fun. Totally, a ton of fun. I look really look forward to it. Look at these cards. Look at these playing cards. Cute. Love them. Oh, little Scotties. Could these be any more from the forties? Or Westies, really. Oh, my God. These are so cute. I love these. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't count them. No, I, don't know how, I don't know if they're here or not. Yeah, you can. You want to just keep one? Uh, no. So you can keep showing? No, I'm just going to tell them what the price is. The price is 15 bucks. Aren't these darling? Here's the Joker. $15 by Hugh. By Hugh! And they are number 44. These are darling. Oh. Thank you, you Angela. Do Annette Mayfield. So much with these as far as um, junk journaling, you know, e ephemera of any kind. Oh, God, these are so cute. <gasps> Speaking of Michelle. Is Michelle here? She is. Hey, Michelle. Uh, Young lady, $15. I need you <clears throat> to tell me in what direction you're going with this whole junk journaling thing. Because um, I, I, I certainly don't want to uh, step into your junk journaling territory. But I have all this ephemera and I want to make like a... Like a junk a, planner. More, more of a planner. And less junk, more just cool old ephemera. Um, it, like I don't like to add like all the She's going to fire up in June. You're firing up in June. And you're doing more of like an instructional situation, yeah. right? More like of an actual junk journal with like... All the extra stuff, like the beads and the buttons. Because what's going to happen is mom's going to, she wants to make herself a planner. It's like a junking situation. But I don't want you to think that I'm like. She doesn't want to steal your, your, your I'm journaling thunder. I'm not stealing your, your journaling thunder here. Just I, a heads up. Yeah. I just have all this, guy. I have all this ephemera. Also, and I really want a planner. And I might make you one too. I'm going to make one for Nancy. That's my plan next week. Um... Also, you guys. How are you, you ever going to do that if all you're doing is going to auctions to pick up stuff? I know. I'm not going to do that next week. That's interesting. We'll see. I can't. I, uh, the amount of money I have spent is not to be believed. Danny, I just want the time to do a junk journal. <laughs> Danny, I here, here. am not kidding. Yeah. Oh, Helen Booty did her first assemblage. Oh, how'd it come out? 
Put it in uh, our Facebook group. <laughs> Just say my name a minimum of 20 times and we're good, Michelle says. Okay, I promise. <laughs> um, no, I really didn't want you to think that I was, you know, taking anything away from you. I just, I've had this wild desire to do it. Uh, to it'll, it'll be different than what you're doing, but. Just a heads up. That's, you know how scared you know. I am. Good Lord. Uh, anyway, you guys, if you are getting boxes from me that have like book covers, I do that because it strengthens the wall of the box. Um, it, so like if I have something touching the wall of the box, I'll put a layer, I'll put like a, better a book cover than an ugly other piece of box. Sure. But um, if you're wondering why I'm doing that, that's what, it, if you're like, why am I, why do I have the cover of this uh, Bobsy Twins book? I don't know. But I have so many books that are just, I don't care about. Um, I'll take the covers off of them and do that with them. But if you guys save those pieces, um, you can use them either uh, when Michelle starts her junk journaling thing. That's all really good junk journal stuff. So keep it. Yeah, do keep those because you can use them. What is junk journaling? Karen Lay, I highly um, recommend that you pop on over to Michelle Comfy Cozy Living mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 1L um, and she will, she's the expert of junk journaling, not me. Right. I Usually what it, well, what it, the just short story of it is. <laughs> Lori said, wrap my vase in old cash, please. I'm going to. <laughs> I planned on it. Lori. Is 20s okay or? No, is that all right? Or would you prefer like? 50s. 50s, 100s. Hunnets. Would that be all right? Hunnets. Honey. Honeys. Hunnets. 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 Anyway, a junk journal <laughs> is a book that has been taken apart, mm. say like a little golden book. And you'll take the front, you take the book apart and you use the cover and you use the back and then you use what they call the signatures. They're like the little sections of a book that are in sections. And then you sew it all back together, but you stick in other kinds of ephemera and people use fabric. They use all kinds of little doodads. They put envelopes in. They it just becomes this bigger journal. A lot of people sew them back, will sew the binding. I neither have the time nor the patience nor the desire to sew uh, uh, binding. So uh, anyway, but that's basically, it's just a journal that's full of old ephemera. It doesn't have to be old ephemera, it'd be anything. It can be any ephemera Any kind want. of paper, cloth, anything. People use doilies, they use old people pieces of lace they, they use, use old buttons. people they use old actual skin from old people um teeth from old people <laughs> i mean i do but i don't know you guys do what you want <laughs> this is super fun and it's old and i'm gonna wear it because it's super mid-century and it's really really cool <laughs> this would be <laughs> Karen, I think Karen Lay might be lagging a little bit. What? <laughs> uh, we are not done know. with the sale. No. You'll never know now, Karen. We are kind of I won't I don't want to say close, but we are I a significant of a way through. Uh, uh, yeah, we are. We're I mean I've got quite a bit, but it doesn't all have to go. Okay, check this out. Ed Gein was so fascinating. Look at this. This is very atomic, very fantastic. I love it very much. Very, very <gasps> not broken. Not broken. Not broken. Manifest it. Manifest it. <laughs> <laughs> very 50s. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, here is my husband, half full or mm. half empty. I'm always half full. He says, very broken. I'm like, no, very not broken. And it's not broken. Teal green. What is the pattern called? Like Starburst? Yeah, it's like Starburst. It's like Atomic. I don't know what it's called. Oh, sweet Jesus. And here's the creamer. Oh, it's still wet. I washed it. Isn't this lovely? Yeah, my heart stopped too. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a tag. <laughs> that's just a sticker. I'll get that off. Isn't this fun? Yes. It's got a little uh, silver rim. Pretty, pretty, and glorious <laughs> Michelle you gonna be okay 
<laughs> I don't know who the maker is. It was made in Japan. That looks like Noritake to me, honestly. And it's being worn starting at... It is being worn, and it is starting at uh, 25 bucks. $25. It's for the cream and sugar. Creamer and covered sugar. And it is just about fabulous. 25 for Jacqueline. Don't forget, we time these for 90 seconds. It is... Um, that, that's wonderful. Look at the knob on that. Isn't that great? Oh! All right, 25 for Jacqueline Vaccaro. You guys, do you want to hear something really funny? This, um... <laughs> 26 for Josie. 30 for Joanne. Michelle's pushing hard for the birthday present. I mean, why why not try, you know? <laughs> You'll never know unless you ask. You know what, Michelle? Um, 33 for Michelle. Isn't that cool? So it's pink and teal and, like, black. 40 for Michelle. Neat. Um, We're at 45 seconds. I think, Michelle, what I might do for you, because I think you would benefit from this 45? as much as me, as much as Nancy. Um, Nancy, I bought... Nancy, this overstuffed house, Nancy. We're at 45 for Jacqueline Vaccaro. During one of her midnight sales that I love going to because it's the only time I can watch sales. Um... I bought some books that were hers, kids' books that were hers. 15 seconds. We're at 45 for Jacqueline Vaccaro. Um, when she was a child. And she, they were all written in. She had her name. She has her name in it. They're fantastic. So I thought, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy these from her. And then I'm going to make a, a journal for, not a journal, but like a planner out of these books. And that's actually why I started well, I mean, I've been watching those channels forever because I love that kind of ephemera stuff. 55 to Jacqueline Vaccaro. But, thank you, Jacqueline. But you know what I'll do for you, Michelle? I think I'm going to make... So, what I want to do is make, like, a planner that's, like, bound. You know, not, like, spiral bound. I even bought a binder, if you can believe that. Um, but I want to make, like, a reseller, like, a planner type thing. So, like, we can... So, you keep track of, like, what you have for sale, what sold, what it sold for. So, it's, like, bound in a book, but super cute and fun. I'll make you one for your birthday. How about that? Because I'm going to make we, me one, and I'm going to make one out of um, Nancy's books. So, I'll make you one, too, for your birthday. How about that? Because <clears throat> I love you. Um, thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Vaccaro. <sighs> Hey, how about some pillowcases? Cool. Let's do it. I don't know why I always have 25,000 pillowcases, but I do. Okay. I just do. Cool. Uh, mm, you know, I like to throw an extra in, a third, but I don't have a third tonight, so it's just going to be sets. Look at these pretties. Look pretty. how pretty. Look how pretty. Chrome vinyl plastic oil cloth. What are you talking about, lady? I think we might be um, in the, somebody, they might have a conversation happening. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you were asking me something. So it's embroidered and... I could be wrong. I don't know. Cross-stitched. Isn't that pretty? I think this is standard, I would guess. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't know. It's kind of big, actually. Maybe that's a... You know what? Know. That might be a king size. I think it's a standard. Yeah, it's standard. You're right. So there's two of those. Two of these bags. Oh, bad. things in a retro kitchen. Oh, right. Yes. Like what era? Like 50s? Or mid... Well, 50s is mid-century. But... Oh, sorry, Carrie. What oh, happened? I'm sorry, Carrie. What happened, honey? Tell us. Tell us the whole thing. Yeah. Who do we hate today? Yeah. Who do we hate... Or two of these. Um, I'm going to say for the pair. Um, I usually sell them for like 10. But let's say 20 for the pair. Because usually if I have three of them, I sell them for 30. Okay. So $20. $20 for the pair. Number 39. No damage. Kind of smelly. I haven't washed them yet. Bye, Michelle. See you next time.
Michelle Hi, Michelle Hine. Hahn. Hine. Um. Royline. Royline. Okay, there's another set. Roses and a heart. Is that a rose? Yeah, yeah. These have a little bit of cross stitch on them. I don't think any other ones I have have cross stitch on them. Hello, cases. Got it. Okay, there's those. Then there's these pretties. These are a little bit yellowed. I'll see if I can't whiten those up for you. I haven't washed them. These are really pretty. I love the edge on these. Look at those pretties. Aren't those gorgeous? Those are lovely, and they remind me of Mary Poppins when they go into the carousel. Oh, yeah, they are kind of like carousel. What happened to Carrie? What happened? Uh, she's, she said she has a, had a dumpster fire of the day. I bet she's typing now. Oh. Just a lot of stuff going on that's stressful. It's a lot of drama, and I just want to, like, change my phone number. Oh, just do it. Oh, God. Just do it, Carrie. There is nothing worse. These are standard size. There's two of them. There's no damage on these either. They're very pretty. And they're also 20? Be, well, th these two will be 20, yep. $20 number. Pair of them. Mm, 82. God, look at all that work. Holy shit. Aren't those pretty? Now I can't remember that song. They have the parasols. Um. Oh, when they're at the carnival thing? Yeah, when they've when they've gone into the carousel and they're with the the penguins. I don't know somebody though. Uh, it's nope, that's not it. It's Josie's butterfly kisses. Oh, Marianne. Okay, now this. Oh, I just so love to put things together, so I'm going to. So. Um. Parasol. This is a very cute. Um. This is an embroidered. Embroidered, embroidered, embroidered. It's You're red, great, black, and We're green. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Right in the middle of the country. It's a little tablecloth. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. Oh, that's right. It is a little square tablecloth. So almost like card table size, you know? Yeah, like side table. Like if you were going to play cards and the ladies were coming over to play bridge. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. I can't sell this yet. Okay. Hold on. You can't have this yet. Oh. You, you got to have something that else horrible. that goes with it. I know. Sorry, that was, that was mean. That was terrible. That was mean. It was terrible to do. Does anybody, speaking of bridge, does anybody collect like old, well, I know somebody bought those cards, but... Um, this is just like the greatest for display, I think. <laughs> and does anybody want to learn to play bridge? I don't know how to play bridge. Oh, talk about retro. Hold on a minute. Now, where's the junior one? Hold on, because there's a junior one that I'm selling. With. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Speaking of card table cards. So... I have all of this stuff that I'm going to sell together because it just belongs together. Unless you wanted to learn to play bridge. I mean, kind of. Why are you giving me that stupid uh, How much to buy out the rest? <laughs> Alan already took them. Took what? The, the gummies. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So this is the Auto Bridge Junior. The Perfect Bridge Teacher. This feels like something that they would um, utilize in Daughters of the American Revolution classes. <laughs> Look at this thing. I mean, just for display alone, this thing is so fantastic. Look at this. Isn't this the neatest thing you have ever seen? Absolutely. Oh, my God. I love this so <laughs> much. So there's these cards, I guess. Hell, I don't know how it works. But it teaches you how to play bridge. But there's all these different hands. Isn't this fun? Absolutely. I don't have the foggiest notion how to play bridge, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I feel like Grandma knew. And not your Grandma, no. No? No. Oh, wait. Oh, no, she knew how to play cribbage. Oh, yeah, yeah, cribbage, whole different. Bridge is a whole different thing. There's tons of these cards. I had no idea these were even back here. Isn't that fun? Neat. Yeah. 
So there's this. Oh, there's an important message. I think this is from 1939, you guys. This is old. Heck. Um, okay, so there's, and then this is like the overlay that goes over the cards or over these sheets. But how fun to display, huh? Very fun. So there's this. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of stuff here because I think it's neat. And there might be people that, like, collect this kind of stuff. Well, yeah, it's probably complicated, guys, but you don't have to use it. Bridge? It's for, dis it's for display. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you could also use it, but... Well, it's the junior. If you're, like, a, like a, like a, a card lover or you have, like, a game right. area... Right, 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 right. That would be great. It's just a vintage game, really, is what it is. It's very cool. You don't have to learn how to play bridge. It's just cool to display it. Can't get that song stuck out of my head. There's that... Then there's these. Why was it a thing when it was created? <laughs> <laughs> there's these two card holders. Look out, boy. You're talking about retro. Well, these are older than that. These are probably, oh, these are probably maybe from the, hmm, probably 40s or 50s. Look at that. Aren't those fun? Yes. So those are card holders. So you just put your cards in here. And then it holds them for you. See? Look, there's like a little spring. No need. You could use those for anything, though. That was cool. This is like green. I don't know if you can tell or not. This one's black. Then there's this, and this is old. This is from 1934. It's the sixth printing of this um, oil book. So that'd be fun to put with it. Totally. Then there's the smaller auto bridge. For the more sophisticated bridge player. No, I think it's still a junior. No, it's not a bridge. Play bridge, learn alone. It's easy, it's fun, it's smart by actual <coughs> play with Charles Gorin, world champion bridge player. Well, God damn right he is. And this is what this one looks like. Wouldn't these be fun? To do oh, my Zhang's really easy. Dolores, it's just matching is all it is. Aren't these neat? I love these. You guys may not yeah, hold, it says the, auto bridge. hold the same enthusiasm that I do for these, but I think these are so cool. Yeah, it's auto bridge. This is just a smaller version <coughs> of this. It teaches you how to play bridge. I just think it's super cool for display. I would easily put this out. They're like a little... I don't know. Like, it just reminds me of my grandparents. Oh, I love it. But also, with your little auto bridge collection. So what do you have so far? You have a large one. You have a small one. You have a Hoyle book from the 30s. You have card holders. And, but there's more. Oh, wait. There's more. There's more, Ted. I will throw in a couple of, I don't know if that other one's square. I will throw in this card tablecloth. How about that? This embroidered card table cloth. For when you and the gals or guys get together and play your auto bridge. Isn't that fun? It's okay. red, red and black. Perfect, goes perfect with your auto bridge set for display. I, I re just so desperately want you to do things, the things that I want you to do. Oh my God. Because <laughs> that's who I am. I don't, this one doesn't really match, so I'm not gonna put it. No. Okay, tablecloth, square, card table size. Book. That's super funny because just as you threw that in my face, LaDonna said Sam keeps getting whacked in the face. <laughs> Two card holders. These are really retro. They're like that speckly gold. Um, and these two Art of Bridge things. I'm going to, all of it, all of it. I don't have the foggiest notion. Cool. Way to, way to make that happen. Way to think that a out. Plan. Hey, let's war it. Okay. Because I don't have the faintest idea. I mean, the tablecloth alone, I'd probably sell for 20. Right. Do you want to just start at 20? Let's just start at 20. Starting at 20 for that whole for shebang. all this really fun stuff. Now, 
then you will take pictures and you will tell me what it looks like once you have it all together, like so. Oh boy, you need to hold it up the tablecloth. No, no you don't. No you don't, I can do it. Okay. I can do it. 20 for a net. What absolute fun. You know what this reminds me of, you guys? Did anybody see the help? 25 from Marie. I was thinking the same thing. This is very much the help. The white ladies. The the rich white ladies who get together. 30 for Angel. And play bridge. 35 for Maria. And this is their tablecloth. And there, I'm just going to hold this one up. And, and here. Here is your whole situation. 45 right for Angel. What fun. It's like a little vignette right here. Absolutely. I, it's like I'm holding a vignette. This would actually be a really fun thing to do, like, if you have some girls that you love to get together with, and you could do, like, a themed night where you guys try to learn bridge and you dress up like your 50s house women. You know what? This would be fun. This would be fun. Let's stop. Um, We're at 50 for a net. Letting uh, high school girls exploit themselves and... Uh, it become, um, uh, you know, objects. Okay. And uh, let's teach them to be ladies. This, oh, I am not kidding 15 you. 15 seconds. When I tell you, had I had this idea when my girls were teenagers, I can promise you we would have had ladies over, girls, dressed properly, sitting at card tables, learning to play bridge. And I'm not, am I kidding, Sam? There's no. no part of me that's kidding. Probably not you, because you were just beyond hope. But you were like, <laughs> you weren't, I would make Brittany do it. You were yeah. more of an athlete. Uh-huh. Brittany's friends were the kind 50 of friends for a Mayfield. that needed a little refinement. Thank a you, little, Annette. Well, you know. I know we're exactly gonna, what We're going to sit and yes. learn to be ladies. And not, you know, whores. Not that my daughter's a whore. She's not, but I don't like I mean, she'll tell you herself. She was for a time. Well, she had that time. And, I mean. Didn't we all? Canada. I mean, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Yeah, thank you. Who got it? Annette Mayfield. Oh, Annette. Great. That's fun. I'm going to call it the bridge bundle. Yeah. I don't have any other bridge stuff. You know what? Here comes a wild card. You guys ready? You ready? I think they're ready. Does anybody else make their girls dress conservatively? My girls were Dolores, dressed like nuns. I was nuns. a whore too. <laughs> okay, in fairness, Dolores, I, I was. We all had a time. We all had a time. At, which is why I did not want my girls like that. You ready for the wild card? Here he is. There he is. Hi. Santa. It's Santa with furry feet, hands and furry feet. Look, it's me. Hi. It's me, Santa. <laughs> Stand up behind him and do the same thing. <laughs> it works because only one of my eyes cross. <laughs> Look at him. He looks... <laughs> Mila, I think it's important to get it all out while you can. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I. that's kind of the approach I took. Mm -hmm. The get it out while you can. He's got a little tie right here. A little bow around his neck that some horrible child um, tied too tight. Um, <laughs> he's a piece of glory, really, is what he is. He's fantastic. Yeah. Look how furry he is. Look at his furry feet and furry hands. Look at his feet. Here he is sitting. <laughs> Hi. Hi, can I uh, get a cup of black coffee? <laughs> Rachel. Maybe a cinnamon bun. Maybe a croissant. A little croissant. <laughs> That's a French ass name, Yvonne. He's he has a plastic face. I he might be like masked though. He might be like a mask guy. I think he's kinda old. Isn't he fantastic? He's he's pretty great. He looks like he's been hit in the face with a frying pan. Oh Santa. It'll be okay. 
Oh, Santa. You'll find a special lady I one day. I just can't wait for you to come. Look at this idea. Hey. Because I made cookies. Three yummy cookies. <laughs> <laughs> From VeggieTales. <laughs> I don't, um, I'm going to make him $30. $30, number 99. I would normally war him, but I don't feel like it. I I put all of my effort into the bridge set. Tammy, tidbits and treasures. <laughs> Tammy, he's pretty cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> um, Could that oh. be Santa? Could dish that towels. Be him? I feel like we've been doing this for about three days. Uh, one, 140 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. So, you know, two hours and some. Almost two and a half hours. Not okay. too bad. Now, here's the situation. We're missing a couple of days here. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Oh, this is the one. Hold on. Just a minute. We'll sing the song in a minute when I figure out which days are gone. Uh, Friday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday's gone, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, here are the days we have, and Sam and I are going to put it to song. Mm -hmm. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are five days. <laughs> there are five days. There are five, five days in a week. Ha <laughs> ha. Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> Oh, Thursday. Hi, Cha Cha. Friday, Saturday. There are five days. There are five days. There are five days in this week. In this particular. In this week that we've chosen to sell you. Uh huh. So basically, the days of the Lord are the ones missing. Sunday and, you know, Bible study day, Wednesday. Church school day. You're right. Awanas. I bet somebody... Hey, Gino. Gino, I was just thinking hey, about Gino. you. Gino. So you get Monday. You get Tuesday. You don't get Wednesday because you don't have to do anything on Wednesday except worship the Lord. You get Thursday. Oh, wait. Looks like she's carrying something on her head. Thursday. Fruits of some sort. They're very well done. Friday. Friday you get to go fishing. Saturday you get to play the bongos and um, the that one kind of drum that I don't know what it is. Okay. And then Sunday again you're worshiping. Okay. Worship. Got okay. it. So you get five. The five of them are $20. $20 number 60... Three. And Sam and I would be happy. They're kind of Hispanic, Hi, aren't they? Hi, They're kind of Hispanic. I believe they are. Yeah. They've got some for one. Yeah. Well, and she's kind of Hispanic, and, you know, she's like at the market. Oh, look at her dress. Her dress is Hispanic. Oh, dress is fantastic. Beautiful. Fantastic. Um, Dolores Cowie. Um, thank you, Dolores. I, so, I watched these sales on oh, Facebook. Look at this dress. And um, fabulous? they're all, all of these girls are... Um, Either, most of all of them are Mexican. Some, there's one girl that's from Puerto Rico. But anyway, they have the cutest damn clothes that first of all, I'm too fat for. Second of all, I'm like, okay, if I put that on, I would look absolutely crazy. But you put that on and you look perfect. I don't get it. Why am I this way? Well, that's because you're putting it out into the universe like that. I don't know why you don't like yourself. Is this really a conversation we want to have right now? I think so. I think it's I think it's time. I don't think it's time. And there are 226 people that are here to discuss it as yeah, well. Okay. Well, that's what I love to do. Does anybody like kitschy lamps? I hope so, because we've got one. Oh, my God. Wait till <clears throat> you see this lamp. Oh, okay. Now, I will tell you in full disclosure... Um, Gino, I was just thinking, like, I hadn't uh, watched one of your videos in a little while. Uh, can you um, reach that plug of the yes extension cord? Why do you guys see this ridiculous thing? So this is not 
Okay. When you guys talk, when people talk about kitsch, this is the true definition. So there are fiberglass shades that are woven together, sewn together, and then they have like, you know, like a design on them. Oh. This, Ooh, ow. this would be a little bit of kitsch right here. Cause this is like, um, it's like plastic, uh, like it's thinner than a milk bottle, but it's kind of like that. Oh shit, hold on. Check. Yeah, check the shade out. first. Here's the shade. Now, it does have places where it's like dented in. See, like that? Oh my God. No, it is not fiberglass. It's like plastic. It's, it's like the very definition of kitsch. Kitsch is um, like when something, it, it, oftentimes Japan is trying to make something that looks modeled after something that is very, very nice. So, uh, you know, they will make like, uh, like when they made those little figurines that were like Hummels, that's kitsch, uh, or anything that is meant to look nicer than it actually is modeled after something that was very, very nice. So yes, these five, if this were fiberglass, that would be unbelievable, but it is, it's like plastic. And, you know, so whatever company made this <laughs> to look like a fiberglass shade, but it's like plastic, but in and of itself is very collectible because it's so kitschy. The base is an owl. Check it out. <laughs> it's wood. He's great. Now, this, oh my God, this is beyond trash-tastic. I love it. Oh my God. This is fabulous. This is the stuff I would decorate my whole house with. It had like the remnant of a little, uh, like a little um, foliage thing that would not stay in. So I just stuck some more foliage in it, but I, I believe it had foliage in it like this. So you may either have this foliage or uh, you can um, uh, put your own in. But it's, it's wood. It's, it's, it, it, it just honestly could not be any better. I'm not sure date-wise when this would be. Probably from the 60s, I guess. It, damn it. Look at it. The photography on the lamp kind of looks 60s to me. I know <laughs> yeah. that seems weird. But it's, it's pretty 60s. I don't know how to fix... Like the color of the print. I bet there's a way to punch this back out. It's The shade isn't damaged. I it's bet just, if it got warm enough and then you pushed it out, it would go. Yeah, like if you... I bet if you Googled it, you could figure out a way to punch that shade back out in some of the spots. But... My life is antique white. The... The lady you see now is Sarah. That's my mom, and I'm Sam. Yeah, the one yeah. That's, you know, in hiding. Sam's hiding. Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> I love this so much. You blow dryer, yeah, perhaps. Or you know, just leave the lamp on long enough. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's got to be a way though that because I think you would have to like hold it for a while to get it. But it's all stitched and wonderful. It's like this cheesy stitching. It's fantastic. Isn't it wonderful? I love this. Um, hmm. I really don't know what to sell it for either. I'm going to sell this. Oh, so you can't really see it. But then you can't see the owl if I don't do it. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sell this delightful, kitschy lamp. This trash tastic lamp, owl wood with plastic pretend shade lamp for thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. Number it sends sticks and owls. Oh yeah, you could put anything you want. So there's like this. Number ten. There's this like little whole thing here. 
Dolores Cowie. Dolores Cowie is all about it tonight. And then there's two little, so you guys do whatever you want. I mean, Jesus, you could do whatever you wanted with this thing. It's fantastic. Oh, what a find this thing was. I, I couldn't be more thrilled. Okay. Now, um, let's see here. Um, oh, let's see. How much have I sold, Sam? Quite a bit. Have I? Um, I mean, I can count the items if you'd like. Well, all right. I'll save some of these linens for... You should do the Chanel blanket. I'm going to do the Chanel. It. Okay, here's what here's what's going to happen. A couple tablecloths, maybe. All right. Ooh, now, blanket too. isn't that fabulous? Yep. Okay, so I have... This is another put-together situation, gang. This is a twin Chanel bedspread. It is... Um, it's actually super clean. And... Um, this is what I grew up with in my house. This is what my mom had on our beds. And my grandma did too. It's got the fringe. I'm not gonna pull the whole thing out. There isn't, I don't believe there's a pattern to it. It's just chenille, up and down, straight up chenille with fringe. It's white chenille. Just pretty You know the summer. chenille you, we all know and love. Chenille, it is twin size. And I thought, well, that doesn't seem like much. It seems like I should add more to this, because why wouldn't I? So, I thought you guys might like, I don't know if any of you collect vintage blankets. I am, very oddly, a hoarder of vintage blankets. There and we are. I really cannot tell you why. I just am. I like thermoses. My favorite color is plaid. Uh, I like globes. And I like blankets. And kids books. And kids books. Kids ephemera of all kinds. Anything kids. So I thought, well, you know what? How about I add this gorgeous... Okay, now also... I will also say, this is twin, um, that these waffle weave blankets, if you are a reseller and don't necessarily want this, these are highly, highly coveted. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. It's 100% acrylic, it's super soft though. I don't know who the maker is on this. The tag's on it, but there's, I don't know who the maker is. So there's this gorgeous waffle weave blanket. That's fantastic. Oh, and it is so soft. So it's like pink and gold and avocado. So I thought, okay, well this is kind of savory. And it's like, it's like lightweight waffle weave, you know, but it's fluffy, oh. Then, this is for like your summer porch. Then. The white one is twin. Yeah, they're both twin. This is like a twin blanket and a twin chenille bedspread. I just thought it looks cute all together for summer. Then, there's this cute pillowcase, maybe, if I can turn it the right way. There's this cute pillowcase. Then, there's this other cute pillowcase. That is a super awesome peacock that I love. And I've been trying to figure out something to do with this peacock pillowcase besides sell it by itself, because that's not fun. It does go well with this. So, there. There's the whole <laughs> deal. All one package. And I assume this is going to be bored? Sure. What do you want to start with that? Here's the peacock pillowcase. We'll start the whole thing at 30. How about 30, starting at 30, going for 90 seconds. Here's this pillowcase. First 30. Here's the chenille bedspread. It's, I'm not going to open it up because it's just it's just chenille. There's no pattern. It's just white chenille. And then this fabulous um, waffle weave blanket. And again, if you guys are resellers of any kind, um, these waffle weave blankets are super, super. I mean, this blanket, 
honestly, you guys could probably get, oh, easily over $100 for it. Oh, thanks, hon. Yeah, I do love to, it can, I, I, lo I just love to put stuff together. We're warring starting at 30. Yep. Started at 30. I might have to go potty. Okay. Is that pretty? Yes. 30 for Michelle Sackos. Yeah, that's fun. That's a whole fun arrangement in a room. It'd be really cute in a... Uh, and I'm not going to lie to you. Timer has started, friends. I dig out. this Pigcock uh, pillowcase, too. Everything is in really good shape, too. There's no... Um, nothing has any damage. Isn't that glorious? I'm not kidding. I think... You know, people are crazy about flamingos. 35 for Cam. I think the peacocks are a superior bird. I agree with that. I find the peacock to be a superior bird. I think people are obsessed with flamingos because there's a kitsch to flamingos. Yes, it's, yes, all tied to Florida. I don't disagree. I just, um, I don't know. I'm kind of a fan of the, of the peacock. You got about 45 seconds. I think the peacock is going unnoticed. And frankly, I, I think the peacock needs its day. We're at 38, and we're at about 35 seconds. Isn't that fun? You will. I hope you see the color in this blanket. You guys will absolutely love this blanket. It's showing pretty well. And it is so soft. 45 for Michelle. Yeah, there, we have a, an all-white peacock at the zoo, and they usually let Really? Them, yeah, they usually let them roam around. See what I mean by waffle weave? We're at 45 for Michelle Sackos. If you guys are out and about, and these Ten are seconds. at least in our area, um, pretty easy to come by. Um, if you guys see these and you are resellers, um, these sell enormously well on eBay and Etsy. People are obsessed with these waffle weave blankets. I don't know why. They just are. This one happens to be striped and really fantastic. Just a moment. And I thought it would look cute with this plain um, chenille bedspread. 55 for Cam's Folly. Thank you, Cam. Cam, that's super fun. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Okay. I do believe, my fine feathered friends, we will do... Um, uh, I can save chenille for the next, for Sunday sale, if you want. Because um, I do have another chenille bedspread. I think you probably should save it. Save it? Yeah. Okay. Um, how about, you just want one more tablecloth, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Bed set. Let's do one more tablecloth. And then we'll see you, you Sunday. I am too. That potato did not cut it. No, we do not I'm have any starved. kids' books up here today, but I will remind mom that you want some, Royling, if you pop into the. Um, Roy, hmm. that's a lie. I do have kid books, oh, but I will show them to you. I'll sell them on Sunday. There's this cool book about trees, and there is a couple of um, uh, first edition um, little golden books. But I will, I will bring more books to the sale on Sunday. And before she shows this, just a quick reminder. This stuff will likely be shipped with all the stuff from Sunday. Yeah. Like, um, from this upcoming Sunday. If you guys need something before Sunday, just let me know. Sorry, uh, can you Lori Ann, message her. Oh, Lori Ann, you have to message me. I mean, even if I have notifications... Um, I will like message me or text me. If you're on Facebook, that will be better than Instagram because she never gets on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, what time on Sunday? We are going on at five on Sunday. Like we. Oh, five on Sunday. <laughs> and you guys, it is super fun. There's music. We can listen to music and play music during the sale on Facebook Live. And I'll, we're also going to have a thing where Bruce has got it all set up. He's going to have you guessing songs, and then you get to pick the music, the first three songs for the following sale, and probably get free shipping. It's, I'm not kidding you guys. It is so much fun. If you're not doing anything on Sunday, pop over, because it's fun. 
Now, last thing. Look at this cute tablecloth. Uh, in, 5 p.m. Central Time. So for Eastern, that's going to be 6 o'clock. It is gardening. It's a gardening situation here. Look here. Ooh, I have some serious heartburn. A man, a lady. <coughs> is there a kid? Oh, yeah, there's a kid. There's a... I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Are you going to drink this? What? This water? No. Um... Oh, it's different all the way around. Oh, it's isn't, lovely. Isn't this cute? There's chickens. This is really cute. Can you see it? Are you looking? Oh, yeah. I can see it. Oh, this is really cute. This looks like it's from the 40s. Um, I don't know if it still has a tag or not. Uh, and it looks like it might be... I don't see a tag on it, but let me measure it. It kind of looks square, but I'm not positive. It's like green and red and yellow. Ooh, look at that pattern. Isn't that fabulous? Ooh, yeah. That yellow is almost like spring green. It's almost like chartreuse, but yeah. it's, yeah, it's more... Square or rectangle, do you know? Mm, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. It oh, looks square. It's, uh, uh, well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to measure it. I don't know. Jesus. Would I ever know, really? What a shock it would be if one day I actually knew. Good night, Michelle. Which Michelle? Uh, comfy. Night, Mick Comfy. See you soon. 50 inches. Bye. I'll see how long it is. While it, you're measuring. It might be a little longer than it is. Joanne asks if you would explain the Carbona treatment again. Oh, yeah. 50 by 44. 50 by 44, not quite square. Isn't that cute? Oh, okay, Very so cute. here, here's the images. It's like in the middle. a little bit darker than Kelly Green and like sh almost chartreuse um, and then red and black. It's, it's fun. Um, you didn't scare across? And then, okay, so Carbana, you know what, Joanne? It is nothing more than a little packet, and it just, um, I got mine at Walmart. There wasn't anything more to it than opening the packet and dumping it, and you use as hot a water as the fabric will tolerate. So because these are linens, I, I use hot. In fact, I have a couple of pillowcases over here that are a little pink. The, they pink, they pink, the white pinked up a little bit. So I will throw some Carbana in there and they will wipe right up. Now, do not panic. This uh, tablecloth's gonna be 24 bucks. $24, number it, 59. It is in fantastic condition. It's got a little spot right there. Um, which I will probably be able to get out. It doesn't have any holes, I don't believe. Yeah, it's fun. Did you say 22? I don't, I don't, did I? 22? Yeah, 25. 22. I think 22 is fine. All right. Ragdoll eBay, eBay seller. Oh, very good. Thank Jean. you so much. Jean Metwer. Jean, I just sent you your um, shipping invoice, honey, this afternoon, if you were wondering what the hell happened. It took me forever to get my shipping done. Uh, well, it always does. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, oh, Joanne. So I was saying, like, look at these. See, these are a little too pink. I must have washed some. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell or not, but these got a little bit of a pink cast to them. And I will just throw some, that packet of Carbana in it. And if you can't get it wherever you live, just order it on uh, Amazon. It's cheap. And it's cheaper than I thought. I think I told you guys four dollars that's like two something it is dirt cheap so and this will whiten right up that will completely go away and it'll be completely white but when you take it out of the water and you don't have it in there very long you know minute max not even that long really if you don't need to if you don't want to um this these colors will show different um like that pink will be more like brown. I mean, you will panic. You will absolutely panic when you pull it out of the water. 
And then after a few seconds, it starts, the colors start going back to normal. Does it take out any of the yellow spots? <sighs> no. Does it? Okay. No, we're not doing the queen size Chanel today. No, I'll do it Sunday, honey. Um, I, okay, now, it, I don't know. I want to try it on something that's like yellowed, like um, a pillowcase or something. You know how they get yellow from the oil from people's hair and stuff? Just over time, pillowcase is yellow. Yeah. I do kind of want to try it and see if it works, if it whitens it up. But I'm telling you, if you have had color that has bled, um, it will it will take that color completely out. I can't find the writ color remover. I assume it does the same thing. Yeah. But I think the Carbona might be cheaper, honestly. So it's C-A-R-B-O-N-A, -A, Carbona. Carbon with an A. Yeah, Carbon with an A. And that company, they make all different, like, little formulas. <coughs> like rust, oil, perspiration. There's little bottles for each thing. They're in the potion industry. They're in the potion. They are in the business of potion making. Them and... Um, uh, Professor, the mean guy, but he isn't really mean. Not uh, the the uh, Snape. Professor, okay. Snape. That, okay. <laughs> so that's it. I think. I think that's it for now. I think that's it. We'll see you Sunday. Hopefully, we see you Sunday, five o'clock Central. It will be all kinds of fun. I promise you. It's very the last easy to one. Get to. Just search Thrift You Friends. Go to Facebook. All of those words, not just Thrift You. Thrift You Friends. Yeah, you gotta have friends. Thrift You Friends. And there will be a Facebook group. You just join it. Yep, and you ask to be asked to join. And, and then, then you and you'll be in. Carrie Costa or m never me. Me. Sam, Doug, Maddie. What somebody will approve you. And then you will, and then you will be able to be in the Facebook live sale on Sunday, because we did it. We're doing it that way so we don't have like trolls and stuff. It it's just so, it was so, oh my god. If you if any of you were well, in the we sale, it would be fun to have it on another place. Oh, you know? we I well we're trying to get our Facebook members to come over to YouTube, but then we're like okay we sort of love this Facebook thing. It's so fun because you can you know, say whatever you want. You can play music. You can. We can't do any of that on YouTube. So, um, you you really get the fun, Sarah and Sam, and Bruce plays the DJ. He's totally. the DJ. So it's a lot of fun. If you have time <coughs> and you're looking for something to do on Sunday, and you're like, everybody went boating without me, and all my friends hate me. We don't hate you. Come to Thrifty Friends. On don't Facebook. worry, nobody invites me boating either. I mean, it's been a long time us. since I've been boating. You can come and hang out. It doesn't even mean, you don't have to buy anything for God's sake. Thrifty friends, multiple Thrift friends. Thrift you friends. More than one friend. Um, the plural of friend. Yeah, more than one friend. Plural. Two or more. Two or more is plural. Thank you. <laughs> I have done nothing but drive this week to go pick up auction you lots that are shitty. And I am fussy. So I wildly look forward to Sunday. I mean it. Uh, right there in that blue comment, Donna Zell. Click what? on that blue comment at the top of the chat and you'll see our email address isn't there. Okay, you ready? We're going to say goodnight. I'm going to have a scotch roux and a cup of coffee. I would like everybody to note that I did not get up once to get a cup of coffee or a scotch roux. I only went to the bathroom once. Did I even go to the bathroom? Yes. How about that? I love you guys. We'll invoice you. After unless you Sunday need sale. to be, email us if you need to be invoiced before the Sunday sale. Um, and I'm happy to invoice you beforehand. But otherwise, I will just wait until after the Sunday sale. Okay. We love you. We'll see you Sunday. Thrift you friends on Facebook. Got it? Got it. How do I turn this off? I can the never X. remember. What X? There's no X. Top left. Nope. Yeah, top yep. Right. Sorry. Okay. Bye.